Hello, everyone, and welcome to the latest episode of Scheduled Conflicts. <laughs> Woo! I got a gun. I got a gun. It goes pew pew. <laughs> you sure do, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I was needless to say, you know what happened last time. I got a good. <laughs> got a gun. Looks like right, a holding a knife. Looks like we started blast. <laughs> well, you you got a gun. Most of us got bowed. True. <laughs> hey, I got bowed too. I went down. It was not fun. Yes. It, was, it was hurt. not a fun time. I was yes. not having a fun time eating the floor. After confronting your inner demons through the help of Calypso, uh, you realize that one of them was in fact real and uh, was in fact your son Deathbow. A laughing. Yeah. That was, a, that was a whole thing. After learning that uh, Calypso has been forming packs with these bows for who knows how long, um, she has given you the task to help prevent what is could only be described as the Feywild's impending doom. I think we got a five-month gap window for that. Yeah. Yep. About it's more or less. We do have a timer, though. A timer, nonetheless. But so. With that, you were transported back to the moment from whence you started your journey in the Feywild. Unfortunately, there are no racers to be found here, seeming to have been engulfed by the wild magic. Oh, look, the wagon's over there. <laughs> Shall we get a move on then? Yep. As much as we can move. <sighs> I forget, yep. did we get the equivalent of a long rest or a short rest while we were in there? Oh. No. Okay, noted. <laughs> Mixon tracks won't steal daylight, and hopefully we'll be Oop. in a lose by the time that we get to nightfall. Oh, if memory right. serves correctly, we were a couple days away still. There we go. Shouldn't be too bad as long as I don't turn into a potted plant again. Actually, Just, you'd conserve space yeah. and wait if you did. You're yes. you're blue now. Oh, yes. Oh, that that is, seems oh. to be a thing, as I'm looking at myself. Oh, yeah. Uh, I miss when you were red. wonder if there's a way I can uh, do that in After Effects. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we'll worry about it later. It seems my metal has been tarnished with blue. Uh, have you tried scraping it off? Maybe it's just paint? I will try. As you see, he like unscrews his hand and just is trying to wipe it off. Nope, it's not really coming off. <laughs> well, huh. nothing to worry about. More face shenanigans. Yeah, don't worry. It will work itself out. Always seems to in the end. You're not wrong. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Yes. There are worse fights. <laughs> there we go. Oh, he's. Oh, we need our D20s again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're back to D20s now. Sweet, you're out of the Feywild. D20s. Oh, yes. Sweet D20s, how I've missed thee. <laughs> because my luck with D10s have been absolute hot garbage. I'm That's right. I'm going to D10s. Our D20s are our old-time boy, a our, our, our road soldier. <laughs> are all reliable most of the time. I feel good boy, yes. <laughs> So how far out are we from Elias, do you? Uh, you are about a two days trip away from Elias. Okay. I think Alafi was almost out of his juice. Alafi yeah, has one day left. Oh, last don't worry. Time. Okay, yeah, TJ remembered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's, what's that? Don't worry about trust, what? Trust me. I was able to resist <laughs> turning before, right? For Tr a couple trust, of days. Tr trust me. When my friend is in danger of turning into a bloodthirsty man shark, I remember. Look, just because I tore off that other wizard's head in one attack doesn't mean you have anything to worry about. I, 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 I will blight you. Because you can now. 
<laughs> well, unfortunately, it looks like Japan's gonna have to disintegrate you, Luffy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nothing we could do about it. It's terminal. Just, just, just have the turtle model on hand. Roll for turtle. Don't say. You still got him. <clears throat> that. Go move on your way. You got two days travel. Let's let's roll a d100. Uh, oh boy! Let's go. Who gets to all of we us? Need, we need the yeah. first night to rest because a lot of us are still on like 10 HP. Whatever yeah. we roll, do not walk. Do not follow it into the woods. <laughs> what? We're I totally gonna follow this game trick twice. 39. I rolled a one. How? Oh. Double zeros and a one. That is a one. <laughs> That is a one. <laughs> nice. Right in the middle, 57. That's I got 39. slightly higher at 62. Rolling a one, oh, that's uh, uh, that's impressive. <laughs> that's interesting, all right, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's the extremes of the of this that are the interesting uh, ones. 53. I, I have rolled on 100 before, and that got us the fucking giant fight outside the city. <laughs> yeah, that's true. true. <laughs> it sure did. That was a good time. I got hit by a tree. I remember that. Yeah. Survived with actually one HP. Okay. We won't have to use this board for anything. This is mostly just going to be uh, map travel. Okay. Right. So, uh, needless to say, um, your f your first trip is first day is uneventful. It, it is a breath of fresh air to be in such. While still touched by fey magic, it is still much more calm. You're able to at least relish in the fact that you are. In the land of Eos, over the Feywild. Oh yeah, get your long rest. Thank you. Wow. Fantastic. Thank you. you are a kind and gracious <laughs> god. <laughs> it be known. <laughs> precious HP is precious. Precious slots. That was blue because yeah. he's he's permanently blue now. Yeah, uh, wild magic is is crazy. Cursed to be blue. Well, I had a cousin, but she was so blue. <laughs> da ba dee ba da die. <laughs> Are you so blue you do not know what to do? Yes, that is true. Um, I, I mean, I, I like I like the purple blue. It looks a little better. <laughs> It'll work. Lafay well, wakes up the next morning and is just. <laughs> You can only be described as like bounding with energy. There's oh, 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 the sheer oh. amount of happiness coming off of him is ridiculous. <laughs> he met his son. He met his son all the way to see his wife. He knows his daughters are likely still safe. Define safe. Slave, but safe. <laughs> it's like they're 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 in a bad spot, but I can save them. Very yes, true. safe. It'll, it'll be fine. If you say so. Mm hmm. Whatever helps you sleep at night, Dad. <laughs> exactly what's <laughs> Dad happening. Laughing. Thank you. <laughs> Pain is uh, just like. Gobble will is... message you about something. All right. Pain is is examining his uh, his new weapon and being very careful with it. Obviously, treating it like it's loaded, um, and and just kind of examining it just with with like almost excitement in his eyes. Do you know how a gun works, Pain? I mean, I've read about them. I've seen them demonstrated. So it shouldn't be too difficult to figure out. 
Well, the barrel seems pretty straightforward. Fire in chamber. Divide into like different points. <laughs> like, be sure to squeeze the trigger, not pull. Got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. And that end shoots the bullets. That's uh, right. that okay. one. Okay. Yes. Um, um, may be careful. All right. This thing is definitely dangerous. Indeed. You want to try firing at one of the trees to see what it does? Might as well if we're stopping for the night. Go Couldn't hurt. Blast at a tree now. Sure. Just make sure that tree isn't alive. He's going, to be like, oh, you shot me. I was going to say, we've made friends with some of these trees. We want to be careful. Yeah. Well, um. You want to roll the hit that's tree. A good point, actually. Point me towards like a tree that's like old and withering and I'll, I'll put it out of its misery. How about that? Can I, you're you're going to put a fragile. Sure she's not shooting at an end. Yes. Yes. yes, please. Go give me a nature check. I am an ancient 3,000 year old ant. <laughs> <laughs> my bark may be stale, but the corn, my roots are still pure. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Oh. And because I'm specifically looking for ants, they are considered fake, correct? Correct. And be, All right. and, so and I have be, advantage on this. Okay. It'd be, it'd be pretty funny. Pain shoots it, and then we come back. There's a crime scene of like a, a tree face down. <laughs> 19. Yeah. Yeah, you you seem far gone from the uh, the groves those tree ants were protecting. These all appear to be uh, naturally growing trees of the forest. Alrighty. Um. Yeah. Uh, none of these trees seem to be sentient. Oh. How about it, Pain? But maybe one that fell over, so you're not shooting at something that's alive. Yeah. Good call. Um. Is there a log somewhere? Uh... Hey, DM. Yeah. I would like to cast Sending. Ooh, okay. Um, while you're doing that, uh, yeah, Pain, you, you try to find yourself a, a, a broken down log, a, a piece of wood that's just been laying on okay. the floor. All right. Um, so what would I need to, uh, like roll for this one. Like uh, what what attack bonus do I get, if any? You're proficient with firearms. Yes. So it's a D twenty plus your proficiency modifier. Okay, and my proficiency is, is a plus, plus four three. Now. Okay. Uh plus Actually, your four. dexterity because this is a dex weapon. Oh, okay. So it is a it's a six then. Yep. Okay. Your proficiency bonus is plus four, level nine. Oh shit! You're right. Thank yep. you for. Catching and that me. would change your stats as well and other That's things. That's a plus seven then. Mm -hmm. I will adjust that afterwards. Thank you for reminding me. Yep. Yep. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. I mean, it's not difficult to hit the broadside of a log, but uh... yeah, it's, it's sort of unlike most like other like muskets and blunderbuss this sort of gives out almost this like sort of breathy blast of energy coming out of it the sound is just sort of mm -hmm. as no bullet comes out of it but just this this line of energy that emanates from the dragon scale um roll me the damage that is 2d6 necrotic, if I recall. Yep. It's a las gun, not Ten. even a regular gun. 10, like from 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 you you hit the dead center of this log and it sort of like curls in on itself as it like writhes inwards as the, the energy, like the moisture gets sucked out of this this once like like it was a dead log, but it still had some semblance of life within it, and now it's just all like this black and rotted core just shrunken down. <sighs> and that's why you don't point at living things. Ah, good shot. Good that to was... fucking no. <laughs> Holy shit. That definitely seems to have some range on it. Uh, I'd wager only 
longer range than, than like a normal musket. I... That's, that's almost worth the dumb name. I'm giving it a new one. No, no, no. I, I meant I meant blast bow. Oh, that. Oh, I mean, yes. she can call me that if she wants. <laughs> that's 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 her prerogative. Um, I think we gonna... will call you Blasty for short. No, no, you will not. Blasty that... Bros. No, 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 Joust. That would be blasphemous. I am armed. Ah. You do not want to test me, Joust. But, but now oh, what? <laughs> you can you can do the sanguine blast. Anyway. <laughs> Speaking of bows, uh... you're due to see your wife in a, in like a day or two. Just don't tempt me. So sending. Yes. I would. I would like to send a message to Slambo. All right. Twenty five words or less. All right. Uh, okay. Do you want me to write it out, or how do you want me to do this? However you want. However to. you want to do it. All right. Uh, Slambo, we're Slambo, we're checking in. M meet us. B uh, meet us back in Gallius for the handoff. Simple enough. All right. Couple moments pass, <clears throat> but you do get a response. Woo he wasn't expecting you in my head, like. <laughs> it's probably the first noise he's heard in there in a long time. <laughs> All wow. I hear is screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Text man giving me trouble. Might not get all that we get. Oh. That's his twenty uh, that's his twenty five words. Yeah, I can't reply back though. You'd have not to you'd have to cast it, it again. We're not gonna be going down. Uh, this is during our rest, right? This is after your long rest. Okay. Ah, yes. The taxation must have changed. Hmm. Then then uh, I'll make sure to message him again to uh, later, but not right now. You, you, wa you wager he's got the message to meet you at Gallius, but yeah, seems to have hit a snag. Nah. Ever knows Uncle Sam or Uncle Fire Nation really wants to take their uh, percentages <laughs> mm. for democracy democracy <laughs> <laughs> all right anything else not for me Alafi is officially out of his um no killy juice so yep you 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 tip the bottle like you're about to down a shot glass and as you finish you just tilt the whole thing upside down and there's not a drop left oh no that is not good uh I'm going to hand Alafi the uh never ending uh tankine that I got that's full of the uh the donkey blood this won't help it'll help a little bit and it's better than nothing Hold on, let me know when you want it. Okay. Besides, I'd rather have something else. Been drinking that for months on end now. I'm starting to get sick of it. Well, we could go out hunting, or we could wait till we get to the city. Mm, better to wait till we get to the city. I'm not hurting right now. I wonder what a god's blood would be like for you guys. Would it be like Extra potent? Extra powerful? Uh, I think it would kill lead. me. I think I it would think be pretty spicy. It would be very spicy. Spicy enough to kill me. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, it is holy. Yes. But 
do gods bleed? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can make I a god bleed. We're potentially going to find out, right? Okay. Potentially, but let's not make that our first, you know, like, go to. option. Yeah, I'm, I'm not suggesting we go into a god, you know, flailing fists. As I look over to Laffy, hmm? <laughs> finger gun. <laughs> and when it comes down to it, that isn't exactly what I'm going to be doing, but we're not going to worry about the details. It's fine. Well, everyone, we better not get all blue in the face. Let's get going. Ye. Understood. Maybe we could find a cure for Laffy when we get to town. First things first that we need to do when we get to town is we need to find Nin, and then we need to make contact with Laffy's wife and Tora's sister. I think the cure sounds more important. <laughs> it is more important. However, comma, we don't exactly have the means to get it here. Mm. The cure is in uh, is uh, across the ocean uh, in Tarask Tooth Bay. Well, there are other types of medicine, perhaps. Not as potent as that one. Well, we might be able to find an alchemist if we're lucky. I mean... It is a big city, right, Tora? Yeah. Ale Aleus is a pretty magical place. If anyone's got something, then we should be able to find it. If Maybe we can find like a silver necklace place. that'll help. Either that will just hurt. I don't know. Or a genie. Or a genie. A genie might be asking for more. That might be more girl trouble. That might be more trouble, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Oh, by the way, if you all didn't notice, uh, I did pick up greater invisibility, so it'd be good for you there, Pain, to be an invisible disintegrating shooter. Hell uh, yeah, I love it. Yeah, a whole minute of not losing invisibility sounds pretty good. Fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. Save that for a rainy day, let's go. I got two of those a day, baby. <laughs> With uh, that all under your belt, cruise along to your final day of trekking towards Aleas. Along the path, walking towards the city alongside you, appears to be two well-worn out men, humans, they have these, like, raggedy, baggy shirts, all sort of, like, dirtied up with, like, sweat stains, and the, the laces on the neck have, like, come a bit loose. Like, uh, sandals, really baggy breeches. Walking stick. Uh, they, they're both carrying walking sticks. Or, like um, leaning on them as they travel. So two men in dirty white beater kind of looks. <laughs> well, they got like the big sleeves and everything, you know. It's mm, like a, okay. Oh, like monks. Okay. Or like more like uh, more like sailors. Ah. Okay. Okay. Mm, I, I, dig I dig it. I. I look over to. What happened to you? Oh, morning, travelers. Uh. I, uh, m mind if we bum a trip off of you? But you're really tired from all the walking. We're pretty full, but some of us can walk. But that didn't answer my question. What happened? <sighs> Been walking for days trying to find a new place for ourselves. I'm off of a shipwreck. Do I recognize these two? Uh, you do. What were once, although now probably former, pirates of Calabasters. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, these folks look pretty ragged, and we're not that far off from Malays anyway. Yeah, I'd be happy to walk if they would like to rest. I can manage to walk. Honestly, I think I need it. I'll walk with you. Sure. I appreciate it. 
Yeah. Just hop out. Let them have a space in the cart. And these two raggedy sailors just take your spots in the in the caravan. As they climb in, Olaf is like, "What's up?" Oh, hey, big fella. The he's big, but he's friendly most of the time. Uh. <laughs> So, what bring, What what's making you two you two head to Elias of all places? I you know. I figured most of the good work's gonna be in the capital city, right? Fair enough. Coming from a shipwreck, you're gonna need money to get by. Yeah. Yeah. Might be good. I don't know some. Some heavy labor or something? Farming? Anything? Oh, there is probably plenty of work for people who are looking for it. I think Surprise. the last thing that he needs is... I think the last thing that these people need are adventures or anything like that. They need something quiet for a while. Oh, yeah, it's for sure. I mean, Maybe work at that tea shop or something, you know. Do a little nice. bit of retail. It's gonna be a while since I, before I see Blue again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, I mean, you can always look at the sky. On the... <laughs> anyway. Um... So... The ship just wrecked, or were you attacked by pirates, or what happened? Well, we got a fancy lead on a place from our captain, and... Whole place was burned down, so we just made a run for it there. By the time we got ashore, boat was gone. Most of us were on lifeboats at that point. And your captain? Lots of chaos. Didn't find him oh. in the midst of it all. Made it out of there with our lives, at least. Well, that is something to be happy about, at least. Who was your captain? You see them, like, tense up a little bit. They're, like, too nervous to say. Look, if it helps, it doesn't really matter anyway. Because you're going to be starting, you know, new work somewhere lives. else. Yeah. Wasn't the nicest guy, say that much. Oh, yeah. probably not. What was it? Keel Hall, was it? It looked back to Alafi. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm not sure how you forgot us. What? Well, I, I mean, I am a different color. He the, looks different. I'm in different armor, and. You're the guy who fought the Commandant. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I am. Hi. And that... Oh, fuck. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. Water Listen, let's... Yeah. Really bygones be bygones. <laughs> like like they Hi turn there. to the goblin and just like, Oh, fuck. Hi there, pirate queen of Malay. <laughs> <laughs> pirate queen. Pirate hey. queen at your service. <laughs> Driving a wagon to a land. Well, your, your patronage is... Much appreciated, O oh Queen. <laughs> eh. Queen is merciful. She'll she'll grant you safe passage. You'll be fine. But you can answer the question honestly. Obviously, it's not like we're gonna turn you in. <laughs> when you already know, then Calabaster. Mm -hmm. Huh? I'm. I take it he isn't too fond of us. I mean, it seemed yeah. all seemed all right until we got there. Mm. <laughs> oh, you guys actually managed to find the island. I was just sure you guys would never find it. I guess he saw it first because what we saw next, we didn't know was going to happen. A big 
green light shining on our whole ship. The next thing we know, it was getting destroyed. Didn't get shot by uh, a cannon or nothing. It's like you're blinking, it was gone. Yep. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> a hell of a light. I know that feeling. Mm-hmm. Well, either we way. We fucked over these pirates so oh. bad. Well, <laughs> either way, we don't, need to, we don't need to bring up the old past. Let's just think of the new things. <laughs> why don't we yeah. play a wa why don't we play a wagon game? I spy with my little eye. Oh, <laughs> is it a tree? A tree, that's right. <laughs> it's all fucking trees. We're in a forest. Well, there's a lot of trees. You know, Joust, you could stand to be a little bit more creative when it comes to I spy. Ah, oh, you're right. Hmm. Anyway, well, they... um, I, I seem to be out of the loop here, um, because you're all in on the joke and I'm not. It seems uh, I don't know how that happened. Wait. Excuse me, what? Wait, what? excuse me? What? The thing with Keel Hall and we... the island, too? Yes, we sent their crew to an island. Who? And... Yeah, you you were there. We we. What? Oh, anyway. Ah, oh. Fuck. What? Why are you all looking at me like that? Oh, I know I'm the one out of the circle. Just lean back, buddy. Just lean back. <laughs> As we all like do the finger <laughs> guns, like, listen, not involving you, buddy. <laughs> like, I promise you, we're not going insane. He is. You know what? what? You know I what? Po I, I think Bane's earned this. Let's not. No, we're good. I think it's fine. Are you sure? I mean, I. I... Pay it? Yeah. Don't worry about it. You it's don't want to know. Yeah, you know, don't worry about it. I mean, either way, what's the Queen of Gallius now doing here? Also, yeah. who's, who's uh, ruling Gallius with you going? <laughs> Commandant, actually. <laughs> Tor is sitting back to himself. He's, like, fuming in his seat right now. Oh. <laughs> and... It, and at the moment, we're taking up land pirating. Yeah. So you bend This is our mighty vessel. <laughs> don't don't jerk with that them. That joke was terrible. That joke was terrible. Listen, don't don't knock don't knock it. Over don't Italy, knock so it. I've like I've heard legends of land boats before. We've got yeah, some so private business going on in Olays. So that's about as much as we can put it. Captain Sticky Beard, yes. We don't talk about sticky beard. No, oh, no, it's this all this old crew, lion and lamb. They had this like land boat thing. Helped found oh, okay. helped found the Cobalt Express, right? Oh right, that sounds about. I don't I don't know where there's one in Florida, but I'm finding a cliff to jump off of. <laughs> well, you'll hit a beach probably. <laughs> this is an inside joke. So you, just, you just you just walk Ooh. right into the beach, just just. Don't come out. Wait until you, you get Let deep the enough. Let the undertow take you. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, land pirates. D don't you mean bandits? No, we're not doing like bandits or whatever ourselves. it's called. Uh, I mean... <laughs> Imagine calling the pirate queen a bandit. That Imagine like calling that. bandits land pirates. No, 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 there's Wait, a difference. That's the, not, not all not, bandits have point. land vessels. <laughs> that's the like point. No one, no one remembers bandits, but land pirates. We've never encountered them before. Mm. I don't know. If we would be mm. new pirates, I would want to be a sky pirate. Okay, that actually sounds pretty cool. That yeah, sounds pretty that. fucking cool. I agree. <laughs> not. I agree. How? How would you be a sky pirate? Balloon. Balloons. Yeah, dirigible. <laughs> I've heard, like... Like some kind of, uh, you know, stories about about airships that just fly up in the sky and then they're, they're just as big as as, as the, uh, the the sea ships that we already have, but they're either floating by by some kind of uh, mechanism or, or magic you know what? or whatever it is. You can have this one too, Pen. That's all right. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn, that was like the funniest thing I'm gonna say all day. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was out of character. Oh damn. <laughs> I 
<laughs> well, either way, just enjoy the ride. Uh, whatever your two names are, I don't think we got two names. Uh, well, this is Pete. Hello, Peter. Or Pete. Howdy, Pete. And over here's Steve. Ah. Nice to meet you. You guys introduced each other. Okay. Uh, Listen, we well, shared a rowboat together for weeks out at sea. You, you you tend to build up a camaraderie like that. Fair enough. That's fair. Yeah. Absolutely fair. Jowls leans over to pain. I think they are an item. You know what? I could ship it. I know. Hmm. I think they, they literally. I think they literally shipped it. Jowls <laughs> about mm. <laughs> big, eye, big eyes. Mm. <laughs> they're, they're just oblivious <laughs> in this conversation. <laughs> Oh god. Oh boy. Right. Just These enjoy the ride. We promise really not sad, to cause guys. We promise not to cause y'all trouble. I hope these two aren't gonna be the first wolf victims to love Oh god, no. That's actually what I was about to say. I was like, quick throw hey. Pete's Oh at no, the... some pirates have showed up just as Olaf is about to turn into a were shark again. Yay! <laughs> Give me uh, Oh boy, howdy, would you look at the time? Look, it doesn't matter until God says start rolling con saves. It could even take a couple days if it was suppressed hard enough. Yeah, no, that's true. If only I could give a sleep in a loppy bardic, but he can't hear me. He's asleep. It also doesn't Maybe you can give him a bardic as he's drifting off to sleep, you know, like a lullaby. Oh yeah, it lasts for ten minutes. That'll help. Yeah, because people immediately have dreams the moment you fall asleep, right? Mm-hmm. That's how it usually works in the cartoons. <laughs> yeah, it's obvious. <laughs> we're, we're in a fantasy realm. I can have dreams within a minute of falling asleep. Wow, already into deep REM sleep within a minute. God damn. <laughs> a Luffy dad sleeps really hard. What can I say? Uh, that's true. Mm. I could see a Luffy doing that full immediate dad hawk shoe sleeping. Mm hmm. Er. I don't know why when I think a Loppy falls asleep, he's got like the whole Ebenezer Scrooge outfit, like the like pointed cap and everything, with a little candle and around. Like, what's going on out here? <laughs> the the only interesting thing about a Loppy when he sleeps is the fact that he's actually astoundingly quiet while he sleeps. Mm. Oh wow, this is natural a when you're map. like. Oh. I feel like I've been. Oh here yeah. Before. It's Rivendale. I mean, Elias. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Are you thinking it's the city from Genshin? It's the it's the city from every isekai ever. Yes. Oh, it's the, it's the start in town. No, it's the, the start triple layer wall is really weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very sorry. My anime brain could not. Uh, yeah, that, it, that, that, it, that it, moment it when you button. escaped the Feywild and got reincarnated into an isekai world. <laughs> Also, oh, we we what, actually died this? in that fight. <laughs> yeah, all, all I got oh, was yeah. a smart the death bow. Just did like ah yes, and for his final move, he does death to everyone yeah. in the vicinity. <laughs> <Death, laughs> Suck, I guess. Death bow uses truck fist. Yeah. Hi, truck coon. <laughs> no. Oh great! All I have is a smartphone, and I'm a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Thunderbolt. <laughs> so. Okay. Uh, after right. after another day of uneventful travels, aside from picking up these pirate friends? Acquaintances? We'll say buddies. acquaintances. Buddy. Buddies. Buddies. Who are eventually introduced to the sun-kissed sunrise against these tall marble-clad walls. Is... I'll be honest. I oh. expected the uh, bushes. It's almost like a city, a castle from those old fairy tale stories. Mm. You no, know, everything is bright and vibrant. There's smiles on everybody's faces. It is a city in peace times.
Each of the uh, tiered walls has a pair of vine guards at full attention. Gates are wide open as you push your way through. And while you were expecting more of like a cityscape around you, it's very far from it. Most of the main city in this sort of center plateau is just dozens upon dozens of little cottage homes surrounded by this open field. Numerous different plants and foliage just as far as the eye can see. Vibrant would probably be the best word to describe the city of Aleas. This sort of cobbled stone path winds and turns and leads you into the main thoroughfares. You see children playing in the streets. The happy merchants just putting out their fresh baked goods on display. Guards remain on patrol as they walk past and wave all of the, uh, the folks waking up to a bright new morning. Well, it is definitely different from Fallen Fire here. This has got to be the prettiest city I think I've seen so far. Well, Gallius was nice. Ish. <laughs> In that sort of uh, <laughs> rustic way. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah, but when you live there, the niceness kind of fades. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, personal taste, I guess. Mm. Well, I think Pete we'll uh, Steve. hoof it on foot for now. See if there's uh, any jobs that we can take here. Before you go, you two, I wanted to at least give you a gift. Here is five gold each. May you have a good start to your lives. Uh, I won't say no to good gold. But yes, I wish you the best of luck. And remember, don't be blue. Look towards a new horizon. I mean, you should probably take your own advice there, Bluey. I mean, I'm going to figure how to wash this off, but I will worry about that later. Here's a shrug and wave you off. Good luck, you two. <laughs> I'm rooting for them. Come on, let's find a an inn. Get ourselves situated. And you see Jess looks, he's like, I feel kind of bad about that now with the two of them. We didn't really mean oh. to fuck over them, just, you know, Q Hall. That guy was a dick. <laughs> Yeah, I'm starting to regret that a little bit. At least they got out of there. That's all that matters. That bitch dragon took the best laugh away that I got out of sunshine. God damn huh? it. Nothing. Lamenting. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I will be. Okay. So, Tora. Have you been to Elias? Well, once I got out of the Fey, I was more interested in traveling around. Stopped in for a bit. Mm. Not enough to really know the lay of the land. Oh, uh, okay. Should we look for something to see if we could help Alafi before finding an inn, or should we at least find accommodations? Uh, I think we can split the group for this point. Let's see mm. if we can... The Find accommodations and my wife might be tricky. Yeah. Yes. We need room. you. She's pretty tall. We need you at your best fight and fit, and we don't really need to be killed by a werewolf version of you. Yeah, we also don't need you taking a bite out of your wife. Sorry, where shark. I'm pretty sure my wife would just stop me if I tried. I mean, even then, let's not take a chance, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Perhaps okay. we find a permanent, more permanent solution. That'd be nice, and maybe they could fix my. Coloration issue as well. <laughs> and I mean, I haven't felt any 
cravings at all so far. That medicine was doing an excellent job suppressing the issue. Oh, good, good. But, you know, this is a city of beautiful scenic things. Look, that kid is literally pushing a hoop with a stick. This is too peaceful. We can't have you go around <laughs> grabble grabbling people. <laughs> this is so fun for some reason. <laughs> like... Look how long I can keep the hoop standing. Not gonna lie, that sounds pretty fun. <laughs> Just oh, like, thinking about it. Later, Joust. Oh. I mean, we got work to do. <laughs> What would you yeah. like to do? I'll definitely go with a Lofi to see if I could find a cure, maybe ask around, and then maybe they could also help me with coloration issue, because maybe they could fix it at the same place. Uh, I'd like to try and find accommodations. I'm going to follow Paint. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Accommodations. I'll follow the, I'll, I'll follow the vampires. Hell yeah. I'll Oh boy, it's a Lofi and Joust back at it again. The buddy cop of century. <laughs> <laughs> It keeps happening. It's not like you and I ever get up to any kind of shenanigans for the rest of the parties oh, watching or anything. Oh, that's true. <laughs> There's I'll only normal the things that happen Faye between Wild us. Excursion. Yeah. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Alafi, don't eat the entire populace while we're gone, please. I'm sure I won't. I hope just I don't. Me, right, just? Uh, yes, as long as I don't turn into a potted plant again. <laughs> That seems to be happening. You know what? Often. You know what? On second thought, I better go with the boys. All just right. In, All right. Just in case we need Plan Turtle. All right. Mm. Well, <laughs> honestly, I mean, that's a good idea. And don't worry, Tor. I could make you invisible, and I can run pretty fast. You can't oh. run fast with me. I, I I can do invisibility too. Hey, double invisibility. <laughs> don't forget, I have astoundingly good senses. I'm not sure invisibility yeah. would save you. That's true. I know. Yeah, you're. Do you're not making it any better, Alafi. I'm just giving them fair warning. I don't know what else. I you could want rip me. you in half like a twig. <laughs> 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 the two most right. feeble guys against Alafi. <laughs> uh, the easier of the two is going to be your accommodations, because it seems the main thoroughfare is just dotted with them. It's just a matter of guess... what name and what look suits your fancy. I guess take your pick. I want. I would rather stay somewhere inconspicuous. So, nothing too fancy. Okay. Fair enough. A perception or a persuasion? Uh, can I assist and give her advantage? Depends what she wants to do. Uh, perception. Are you proficient with perception? Aim. Who are you asking her? Oh, if you're uh, if you're helping, you need to be proficient with it. I am not. Dang. And then you cannot okay. help her. All right. Thirteen. Right. Thirteen. Um, and by the way, four. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you sort of try to uh, pull the caravan off the beaten path a little bit to try to, you know, maybe maybe you can find a little place in the back alley somewhere. Um. You end up finding this little place called the Fox Nook. Sort of small little cottage-like inn next to this tree-lined stream that connects to the main riverway of the city. It's got these, like, decorated thatch roof, this sort of white plastered wall look small little staircase with these metal railings that lead to a small hobbit hole like entrance I guess if you want inconspicuous this would be it uh, and we're not too far from the main city so and it's just your size hey <laughs> hey <laughs> I am legit laughing at that joke. Anyway. 
the way, in inside you get that like deep cottage core vibes, you know, the 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 wood burning stove hanging over this like all these different like forged pots and pans. Small little uh Just these round tables sitting by little uh, stained glass windows. It's all it all just gives off this incredibly cozy vibe. Inside behind the uh, the kitchen you see this uh, this young female human has this apron alongside her with all the cooking utensils, and across her hip you see a book. Sort of long brown hair just sort of tied back into a bun. Can I make a perception check to see what she's reading? I... Uh, sure. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Um, given the title, it appears to be an astronomy book. Ooh. Oh, sorry, I'll be right with you. No, no, take your time. No rush. Uh, Just getting everything ready for breakfast. We got here early. Anyway, uh, of course, we're we're just uh, looking uh, for a place for a group to stay. Oh, easy enough. Um, we have several large rooms. Uh, they all come with their own beds, feather mattresses. Some say it's the coziest little hidey hole inside of layers. That sounds perfect. <laughs> uh, and how much per night? Or are you on the bartering system as well, like the previous couple towns? Oh, no, no. I'm more than happy to accept the, uh, the five silver needed for a room. Oh. All right. Uh, I... I dropped five silver. Do you want to share rooms for the night? Or at least, you know, for the time being that we're here? Or do you want to... Uh, I'll put it this way. I don't want to be near Laffy when he goes off. Fair. <laughs> oh, yes. A door is going to stop him. <laughs> like... Listen, listen, listen. Hey, I get it. Not I get LOS. it. A, a, a door is just one attack roll that's no longer hitting a player. Just, that's true. Just... Is, that's that's, that's is, not what I'm asking, though. I'm asking if you want to share a room with me again, or, or if you want, you know, privacy. Okay, Either one yeah. works fine for me. I'm 100%, I'm 100 okay with sharing a room with you, Payne. Okay. Uh, um, unless you'd prefer to share it with someone else. I mean, I see no problem the other way just a matter of whether or not you want privacy. I mean... Listen, I know that I'm not interested in women, but at the same time, I'd like to give them a little bit of space for respect purposes, you know? Of course. I'd rather not walk in on you, you know, undressing. Yeah. Ordinarily, it's a complimentary breakfast for people who stay overnight, but since you're here, you might as well have some of the extra I still have spare. He just sort of lays these plates across the the uh what do you call it? Just the bar. The buffet? Oh. <laughs> Maybe if we went somewhere fancier paying, I don't think they got a buffet here. I mean uh, there's there's a buffet breakfast. closer into the uh the heart of town. I'm not gonna complain on breakfast. Yeah. Neither. I'm gonna try the eggs. Yep, uh, she's been. She has given you a baked hare and poached eggs. 
and a you very, know Drana's a... going to dig into that hair. <laughs> Rabbit's so delicious. Num, num, num. It's not very filling. I've never tried it. For breakfast? I've tried it. It's it's not my favorite. It's a little gamey. Yeah, too gamey for me. I like chicken. Right. That's some good stuff. <laughs> Thank hey. you. Uh, it's a uh, all of all of our uh, things we cook here are family recipes. I assume it's locally produced. Local Locally as the sourced. chickens on the streets, yes. Fair enough. Bear that in mind for later. Cook? No, I'm just uh, saying, like, maybe I'd want to order chicken for the morning after. I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, that, I mean... that sounds really good. But yeah, see, you don't have to worry about me undressing, and I. I'll make sure the the not get fully undressed here. I promise. Okay, this is I'm being perfectly honest. It's it's the scars that I've got, and I don't want to freak you out. You know. Is this your first time in the layers? Uh yes. We are. We're visiting. The, uh. A friend of ours has some family here. Oh, wonderful! That's so nice to hear! Oh. Actually, two friends of ours have uh, family here, and we're, we're currently looking for them. Uh, we don't really have an address, and I don't know, maybe you can help us? They moved recently. Yeah. Oh, well, what are their names? I might be able to help. Uh, let's see. I believe that uh, the wife of one of our companions, uh, what was her name? Um, still with a Z, I do believe. Hi. Furborg. Um, oh, I have no memory of her name. <laughs> <laughs> and that's out of care. I, <laughs> I mean, either way, like, I don't think they would remember either. Yeah. In character, I don't think they would remember. Out of character, I don't think they would remember. <laughs> the, the husband would probably be able to tell you. Mm. Yeah, he'll be coming in later. With um, uh, well, Fubo. with a fairly skinny wizard and uh, a very armored man who is definitely not a robot. Mm. That's obviously suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm clearly a metal man. <laughs> Her bugs aren't too common around here. I do believe I know of a gardener for a bulg around city. Would she happen to be somewhere close by? Um, I believe she mostly tends to the fields. Okay, that's something to go on. Wherever, wherever they need her. I tend Understood. to usually give a kind wave to them as I'm Trying to snatch some herbs from the fields. Mm. Uh, um, our wizard friend actually is uh, is from the Fey Wild, so. Um... Well, lots of people from here are. Okay, so what about an Aladrin uh, elf, Autumn one? Hmm. So that doesn't narrow it down too well. There's a lot of those folks around here. Does the name Rwendo ring a bell? No. First name Shiri? No, I don't think I know anybody by that name. Hmm. Well, well appreciate it nonetheless. One out of the two ain't bad. The best bet is to ask the Vine God. They uh, seem to have a good... Uh, Take on people. Right. right. Understood. But uh do you uh do you have keys for our room? <coughs> oh sorry. 
<coughs> um, no, it's just uh, up the stairs, first one on the right. Um, we don't use keys here. Good to know. Um, it was five silver, right? Yes. Uh, I paid her. Uh, I, I'm also paying her just for my share of the room. That way she's not, like, you know, having just, just but did you, two people for, like, a low price or whatever. Did you want another room? I mean, I might as well. Um, it's, it's for our other... It's for the... For the faction of our group that is missing. Yeah. Ah, fair enough, fair enough. They couldn't wait to see the town. It looks so beautiful. <laughs> well, I do hear it is the most... Ca- Beautiful town in Eos. Well, it certainly lives up to the reputation. Mm-hmm. Just moved in here a few years back and just couldn't get enough of it. it. Truly is a remarkable, peaceful place. If you ever feel yourselves not the adventuring mood anymore, you always find a nice cottage to settle down in. Jeez. That does sound nice. <laughs> but we got much adventuring ahead of us. Of course, and your rooms will be here when you get back tonight. Thank you. Oh, we didn't get your name, by the way. Oh, it's, um, a Laerg. And how do you spell that name? A L A L L E U G. Alert. Okay. E U G. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. And boy, don't we love random name generators, people? Sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For a second, I thought they were gonna all have like. Alara, like something from the town, like oh, the, all our names it's... are this. There is no war in Bossing Say. Like, wait, what? Hmm? Say. Huh? Anyway, on to the boys. What are the boys up to? Boys, boys, boys. <laughs> it's just like uh, I will ask around because I'm clearly uh, a metal man, and I think I could get somebody's attention. You're good at that. Yes, I will ask, uh, probably if there's a leaf guard around, I'll ask them, since they, they they seem to be the most in charge. Vine guard, but yeah. Um, Vine guard, sorry. Leaf, I, why did I say leaf guard? Yeah, you're right. Vine guard. Sure. Equation. Yes. Uh, since we got a plus nine now, because I am very persuasive. Nine. Nine, as I'm like, good day, for, uh, good day, sir. Ah, welcome to the city uh, of Aleus, friend. What can I do for you? Good day. Uh, me and my friend, we are looking, my friend here is cursed with a um, terrible affliction. I was wondering if there's a place of healing or something that might be able to help them and perhaps maybe help with my coloration issue. Very sorry to seems hear to that. Seems to be a mixed, yes, a bit of fey magic, but nothing seems too serious. But he, yes, is in dire straits. If there is some place that could help, I would be gratefully appreciated. Well, we have a local apothecary in town owned by Lady Dika. Dika, would you be able to give me directions? Oh, certainly, of course. If you just follow the main thoroughfare down to the east, you'll find a small little cottage on a hill at the very end of the cliff. Ah, very good. Thank you, sir. May you have a wonderful rest of your afternoon. Ah, yes, and please enjoy your stay in Alayas. Thank you. Like, pulls off his wig, clearly. Sh- <laughs> Clear- no worries. And then just, Alafi, we are heading to the east. We are looking for a small cottage at the top of a hill. It seems Ooh. to be an apothecary of sorts. By the name of Lady Dika, over here. Follow the cursor I have on the on this map I have found. <laughs> How do you know it's not up over here? Little hollow thing. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, uh, yeah. And I'll start leaving the Where did you get this map? Here. What is that? How does that work? Technology, <laughs> Alafi. Did you already? Did you already steal a map? 
Oh. Well, I so well, I looked at one, and I can make it with technology. Ooh. I, 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 we probably would be standing out, you know, but it makes sense that, you know, an Eladrin could have a robot and know it was a purple. That makes sense, so. I yeah, know these, the, the main thoroughfares of the street gives, like, very wide berths as, like, just <laughs> droves of people are just, like, walking through them, going about their daily lives. I'm not gonna lie, Lara, uh, Tor, I can see why people like this place. It's very busy. If it's still quaint. Still too many people. Mm, yeah. you, you, for me, it's, it's a little crowded for me, and yeah. You will definitely not uh, like fall in fire. Yeah, I will you, tell you that then. You notice like the hodgepodge menagerie of different folks of all different kinds. It is an absolute melting pot here of Aladrins, elves, humans, uh, gnomes, dwarves, tieflings. You name it, it's here somewhere. Wow. Fancy. Eventually you uh, make your way to this uh, small little hovel of a house at the edge of the cliff. You can see like this black smoke looming from like a, a small metal chimney with like the like the metal cone on top of it. Hmm. I believe this might be the place. Seems correct. Let's cross fingers. You oh, well. you are introduced to the stereotypical witch's hovel. The oh, giant yes. the giant rolling boiling cauldron in the centerpiece of it. The green bubbling from it as old elderly hand stirs it. You see all the hanging herbs, spices. A, a, a toad getting hung from its leg. All sorts of different mason jars of just various different ingredients line this place. And essentially behind this old woman, this like thin red hair, all like bunched up in like different uh, hatches, essentially. Behind her is her bed. <laughs> Kadira, you used to be a witch, but now I'm a woodcarver. <laughs> woodcarver! <laughs> ah, uh, Lady Dika? Yes! Welcome! Oh my, my! Hello. A strapping young man entering my little home. I had asked. I had asked a guard uh, that I saw by that we are in need of healing of sorts. My friend here, my Furbog friend, the tall one. Well, you've certainly come to the right place. See this like snaggled tooth grin off of this old lady. Turn to the boys. I like her. She seems nice. <laughs> Please come in, come in. It's probably is can... it like a little house or is it a big house? It's a little house. You are going oh, to be four people in uh... here is cramped. By the way, is she uh she's a human or what race was she? Uh, she is a human druid. Okay. Okay. I, I don't I, I don't know why I didn't get that for some reason. I was like, hmm. <laughs> yes, um, we had we had in our travels here we had our friend had come under a terrible affliction of uh, type of lycanthropy is it right Alafi? Yep. Hmm. Yes, and we are wondering if uh, we did find a alchemist earlier, but we had run out of a potion that was keeping this at bay. And we are looking to see if you might have a more permanent cure or solution, or. If not, if we could fix that, I seem to be colored blue all of a sudden. And it's such a wonderful shade of blue. Oh yes, I like it. But you know, people I, people like me in my reddish hue. But it's not really that important. Alafi is the more prevalent uh, problem right now. 
Lycanthropy, you say? Were shark specific, if that helps. Mm. A were shark? Oh, so far away from the sea. Oh, you must be starving for a fish. I am absolutely fine. The potion I had just ran out today, so we have no craving. A window. Well, in case you need it, and like offers a cupped hand to you. I will hold my hand out. Drops a little berry in your hand. Mmm. Berry? Good berry. A good berry. Would satisfy you for the day in case the heat arises. We do not look gift horses in the mouth. I will take the good berry. That, that is good, true, you know. Good. <laughs> oh. A permanent solution to that. A little more tricky. I'm sure in your travels you have attempted many different things. Yes? Hilariously, we actually haven't done too much as of yet. I've been a little locked ride, yeah. We had got a little, um, distracted. That's the best way to describe it. We tried mm. exercising. Mm. I mean, he's, he's, he's pretty worked out already, I think. Indeed. I mean, just look at those gains. <laughs> really broaden those shoulders out for a bit more. <laughs> yeah, you gotta work but, perhaps uh, a lot. Get ahead of myself. Please, please. Just find the moss next to your head and try to get in a little closer to the cauldron. I was not expecting someone so strapping and tall coming into my little home. I guess I would step away as well, just near Tora, to give the Lofi the room, because it's a yeah. small place, I suppose. We're trying to give him at least mm -hmm. some space. In. Yeah, I mean, I'll step close, lean down a bit. He begins what? to grab your hand. That will let her. Make a con save. I don't good. She dunks your hand in the cauldron. <laughs> okay. What in the world? Con save. Fat plus three for me. 22. 22. <laughs> yeah, the, it, it shocks you how quick she's able to just like drag your hand into the cauldron. You're, you're not expecting, like, the, the shock from, like, the boiling concoction that's within. Um, uh. Okay, so half. You'll take six uh, fire damage from this. Huh. Ow, what? Just need to flavor the cauldron. Do you, like, <laughs> brings, brings your hand back to your side? Gives it gives it a little little pat. <laughs> gotta dip it. Gotta flavor the soup a little bit. Dip, dip. <laughs> you are very tasteful, Alavi. Mm. This I is your <laughs> affliction, after all, and this needs your personal touch. Why? You see her begin to like shift and turn as she begins to start reaching for different strange concoctions and herbs and just begins pouring it. You see, like, the shifting of colors that, that are going in. It goes from, like, green, then it turns into, a, like, this blood red and then it changes back into a purple. Mm. Ah, there we go. There we go. I don't suppose you'd be... No, no, that would be too much. That would be too much. If anything will help. I am concerned about what you were asking. I'm getting weird vibes from you. No offense, man. Anything? I should not have said that. Oh, my. <laughs> she I'd like, like to get she better. She kind of like gives you the sly grin. 
And I better like you shall that. be. Mm -hmm. Eventually, like, takes her own hand and begins to, like, scoop the purple out until there's, like, this almost, like, silver dollar-sized amount in her hand. and Still scalding. Like, you see her hand, like, the steam rising from her as she, like, pulls it out of the cauldron. And she raises it up to you. Oh, God, am I really... To hold up. I've got to do a little insight first before Alafi's willing to do this. It seems too convenient. And she's like, go on, Alafi, drink the potion. <laughs> drink the potion. Drink this potion, and all of your problems with this lycanthropy will be over. I am absolutely insight checking that. That sounds yeah, so, so suspicious. So am I. So am I. <laughs> I was like, go on. She's holding the potion. <laughs> Drink it. Just. I don't, know, don't worry. It's just going to take your soul. <laughs> and uh, Tor, what'd you get? 23. 23. Um. Very odd to be asking for a potion to be drank straight from her hand, but uh, you both get the sense that she is uh, getting something else out of this. It's just, it's just like, well, go on, Alafi. In a more uh, infatuous way. Oh, intimately. Oh. Ah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you know, All she's right. doing a little tit for tat, is what you say. Yeah, oh. you on. Okay. Hey, let Grandma get her jollies off. Okay? <laughs> I don't like if you said that. And Luff is going to drink out of her hands, I guess. All right. Yeah. You're sure to get every drop there, dearie. Why are you don't, making don't, this so weird? Don't be taking my lies from me. I want to say them. <laughs> oh, just dude. Make sure you'll get every drop, dearie. <laughs> that just keeps drinking the faster this is over the better. <laughs> it, it, it is it is like a tablespoon of medicine to you as this sort of sick taste reaches your mouth. It, it is as if someone just took boiling swamp water and just fed it into a a decrepit old lady's hand. It is Ugh. not a pleasant taste. She did not wash her uh. hands. <laughs> uh. And as, as, okay. you, as you drink the potion clean, she sort of just like rubs her fingers on her palm and sort of like rubs her hands together. How was that too hard? I've dealt with worse. I'm still deeply confused. Now it will take about three days before the potion takes effect, so do be careful with yourself until then. Is this a cure? What does this potion do? What did I just drink? Oh, I'm so concerned. It does exactly what I said it would do. It will get rid of the problem. And Luffy looks back at the other two like, I've made a terrible mistake, haven't I? This is Jaws just like, well, we got rid of the lycanthropy. Like, this... Now, how about this blue problem? <laughs> oh, yeah, my friend is blue. He's not indeed, meant to be indeed. blue. But I do not know if your magics will help me, for I am indeed made out of metal. Are you now? Indeed. Hmm. Fortunately, no amount of brewing and stewing is going to fix this mess. Yes, it we is need definitely a more uh, holy intention. Hmm. Pick out a cleric. Oh, well. All right. What well, about, well, how much do we owe you for your troubles, ma'am? Oh, I believe you've paid enough as she takes her hands and just begins, like, almost like applying cologne. She sort of, like, puts it on the rags across her chest. Oh, she's, got, I... 
She's got that musk you, scent now. Okay, you, I am leaving. You are, is... you are freaky in all the fun ways. You keep I, being you. <laughs> yeah, sure. Elafi is walking out of the building. He's too perturbed by this. And I'm you keep being Thank you. you. And you keep being you, handsome. <laughs> As a justice, with that, like, you leave thank this you for small your little hovel. Well, she wasn't so bad, Alafi. <laughs> she was very friendly to Alafi. I don't know why. Oh, that more than friendly, I would say. Help. I do not. I, I do not get that context. What do you mean? She thirsty. Ah. She uh, we'll t water. we'll tell you when you grow up. <laughs> I mean, all she did was allow you to sit from her hands. I don't see anything in wrong with that. Some would consider that a very intimate gesture. Ah. I did not know people considered handcuffing intimate. I oh. would consider handholding very intimate, too. We, we... Joust, you have so much to learn. It's gonna be well, fun. Well, I mean, handholding is an intimate thing. It makes sense. But uh, you guys I... should go back and maybe rest. I'll go look myself for a cleric. It would... We're not going off alone. Oh, I mean, no I don't want to find my wife. you. Oh, right. There shouldn't be too hard to find a fur bog. No, I agree. It, honestly, she could be just like right over there and he'll point in a random direction. Let's go just that way. Out in the field. <laughs> Start walking. <laughs> Why do we go? Yes. Uh, we, uh, we should I mean, here's around. the thing, right? My wife's a smart person. Mm -hmm. I'm a fur bog. Not yeah. many of us around here that I've seen so far. Ala just made. Alafi, so higher probably. Uh, hi. Yeah, you pointed in a random, random direction. There's nobody there. It would have been so funny. Oh. <laughs> yeah, maybe over there. <laughs> just, yeah, suddenly she's just there sweeping. Wow, that was convenient. <laughs> like, well, anyway, I mean, uh, let's well, wander maybe... in the city. The best way yeah. to find her will be hilariously just to let her find me. So I'll go. Honestly, if I were to do one of my old acts in the center of town, that'd get attention real quick. Well, that probably might be a good place to find a cleric as well. And we, we, we do seem to make attention, since you and I are definitely different. And Tora is Tora. He's going to be very <laughs> exceptional in his own way. Yes. The three of us have our own unique ways of entertaining. Let's, uh, let's go make it happen. All right. What are the other two doing? Uh, I'd actually like to have a private conversation with uh, with with uh, with Drana. Okay, I'm down. I. So I'm just basically unloading uh, all my stuff, just making myself a little bit comfortable. Uh, noticeably room. not oh. lying down on my back. Drana could probably guess why. You you aren't or you are? Uh, I am not. Very much trying to avoid... We haven't even gone out on the first date. What? Nothing. Uh... <laughs> I... <sighs> Apologies. Um... Childish response. That's all. Yeah, you, you, need, you need some better jokes. Yeah, I do. Um... Get some better material. But don't get it from Drowse. There. Uh, Drana will be... We're in the room, correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, Drana is going to remove her... Uh, remove uh, her armor, but she's probably wearing that dress or, like, some sort of... Fr something underneath, obviously. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And... You know, she's just removing the armor parts. So, are you doing okay? I mean, I was about to ask you the same thing. I'm scared. That's the honest truth. As she leans up against her wall, sits down <laughs> on the floor. He sits next to her. Well, Is it related to what Calypso showed you? Yeah. 
a she showed me well me if <laughs> if I well I guess if I was like you hmm. it's scary because I don't I don't like hurting people despite being good at it and you know how, how our kind kind of is. <laughs> you know, you say that, and yet you have no context on the culture or anything really regarding the people, except for what you've experienced from me and Camelot. Stories. <laughs> so a lot of the stories are embellished, and fair. a lot of them are propaganda. Also fair. All I'm saying is... I'm just scared that if I do follow this path, then... I I would just be seen as either a weapon or some savior among... Among... Our, our kind, I guess. And that's a bad thing? You'd be saving a lot of people. Well, if the legend is... or if... Uh-oh. Huh? I disconnected. Oh, hear ya. Yeah, we still sure hear you. That's so weird. Just reconnect. Hey. Tabletop oh, simulator, you know. Yeah. Tabletop, what's it? What are you drinking? Are you drunk? Hey, no RP. Stop. Really? <laughs> really? Who wants you to play tabletop games in our tabletop game? <sighs> well, whatever. So God. Rude. Anyways. Yeah. Um, uh, you were saying? I. If that's all I am to the culture, then. They don't actually care about me, they care about what I can do. They don't know you. True. You don't know them. Yet they, start a, yet they start a war over someone we assume is me. We don't know if it's you. That's the child of light from that prophecy. We don't know if... Child of dreams, I believe it child was. Child of dreams... Either way, we don't know. We don't have enough information, and the ones that are really jumping at the bit regarding that information and that lack thereof um, are the House of Flesh and the House of Bones, mainly because they see an opportunity to kind of call out the vulnerable, try to take power while they still can try to feed what they still can, and they're the ones that are the most violent. Yeah. Those are the ones that a lot of those stories that you hear about are actually about. Do, do you know how big the House of Dreams was before everything? Is that how? Do I? Make me a history check. Okay. I'm actually good with history. Funny enough. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Even more proficient, too. Yeah, I'm even more proficient. Like, oh my god. 24? Ooh. Um, from the lessons you've been given about uh, the, the vampire houses, House Camelot, while its own niche was enough to establish itself as an official house many, many years ago. It has a location, it has what could have been counted as at least people in the three digits amongst House Camulet. Granted, they might have been the smallest of the bunch. They were, in fact, one of the most powerful due to the nature of what they do. 
Okay. Then I'm gonna relay that info to her. It didn't take much for the other houses to jump on the smallest, now did it? No, it really didn't, especially if it was two houses at once. The House of Bones basically is puppeteering the House of Flesh. <laughs> as far as the House of Flesh is concerned, they're perfectly fine with all the bloodshed. Well? And the House of Blood has remained neutral. Yeah. Kind of had to for our own safety. Kaineth, as well-meaning as he is, he can be very paranoid sometimes. And I can't say I blame him, especially with literal daggers at our throats. Well then, I have to ask. If you want safety, why, si why stay neutral? Because the two houses are basically one by themselves. There are still other houses. Some that are not sure. Some that are definitely opposed to what the two most violent houses are doing, but we can't really do anything about it because it's not just the other houses that we have to be concerned about. It's the clergy. If we make too much noise, then the holy men upstairs are going to hear us. And if they hear us, they find us. And when they find us, they kill us. just based on what we are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's scary. Yeah, and it is. Given but I up think... who I've been and what I've been fighting is probably the hardest part. Do you mind if I give me my honest opinion sure. I think that you shoving away this part of you is only going to make matters worse for you in the long run because you know so little and you're going based off of what you've heard and what you think is true based on the propaganda that usually is spread especially on the upper cities and especially the more populated areas full of you know People who live and die, shall we say. Mortals. Yeah, I don't like saying that word. Understandable. But people... Still, the typical person that, that hears a story about a vampire usually hears one about a master manipulator, about a blood-sucking fiend, one well, that's against the holy uh, arts and everything. And... To an extent, they're not entirely incorrect, but... Fine network from, uh, from <laughs> Skylysium to Gallius, right? It's a complicated network. It's a complicated system full of different kinds of people with different ways of feeding, let alone opinions. So, I understand the hesitation in wanting to keep a safe distance from this bloodline of yours. Because there's a lot that you don't know, and that's scary. And a lot of what you do know is even scarier. And I promise you, you don't have to continue going down this route if you don't want to. And you're not, very likely not going to be as powerful as, as Camelot. But... I think you'll have an easier time accepting that as a part of you if you do look into it a little bit more and don't necessarily have to embrace it fully but keep an open mind, yeah? Well 
I guess you're right. I know that that's a difficult ask for you because of, you know, your own reasons and I'm not I'm not discouraging that. But I hope you understand that I don't want you to harbour those feelings into thinking that you will become a monster if you do decide you know, that you might be more aligned with us. And no matter what, you're still going to be an Emberlite. True. But I don't know if they'd want me if I was well, you know. I can tell you that they wanted you to be safe, and I can tell you that they wanted you to have a better life than what they could currently provide for you, because it was definitely unsafe for them to give you what they wanted for you. They gave you to people who they could trust. And based on what I have seen with your fathers, I would agree with them. Well, if you think I need to learn more about their culture, then tell me. What was it like? I mean, I'm not part of that house. No, I only know a little bit of what Kanith had taught me. And I can only speak from my house. That's all I want to hear. Because there's not much left of House Camelot from what I can tell. Well, you still got... You still got Lady Camelot herself. And hopefully, by the time that we get over to Sky Lyceum, if they make it there... You can ask her in person. Fair. I do have a question. What is it? During... Wait, actually, I'm not sure if I actually saw your shadows when I w when we were in that fight. Mm -mm. Because I know I saw Joust and walked through one of them. You know, that sounds about right. I mean, to be fair, I was kind of yeah. wandering around in the dark trying to help Tora and the Laffy. What did um, you see? Well, I saw Kanith. And I saw what I think might be St. Brenadol. Eh. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. time will come, but... <laughs> First, we gotta deal with whatever's going on here. Yeah. There is one thing that you definitely should know. Yeah. Um. When I was, uh. speaking with that figure of Renador, um. I learned a little bit of something. Is that. I was tasked with taking down a target that happened to be undead and also happened to be a group and apparently they were also goblins. I ended up not doing it and started questioning the Wheel of Keen, and um, I've reason to believe that might be why I was executed. Well, I'm glad you didn't. I'm glad you started questioning your beliefs. Yeah, me too. Maybe I... Maybe I should start doing the same. I think what you've got right now is pretty solid. To be perfectly honest, you're not relying on a god, you're relying on family. I know. Just don't rely but on just one don't... side. Yeah? Yeah. God. I... I wonder... What my what my parents would think of me. <laughs> my ones? biological parents, I should say. Mm. 
I mean, I'd take a guess and say that they'd be proud of you. Regardless. You know? Fair. Would you like to maybe go see the town while we still got time and then? Yeah, um, I could use a chance to stretch my legs. My back is just really weird today. Yeah, fair enough. And uh, I'm going to hop up and, you know, she she's in her dress. She's de-armored, but she's still got the captain hat on. <laughs> But Drana is actually going to remove her eye patch, and she'll say, "Maybe it is time for a change." Accepting it little by little, right? One step at a time. Yeah, don't rush into it. Of course. So she's wearing her captain's hat, but she's got the eye patch removed. Alright. Okay. For now. So we're gonna go catch up with the with the boys. Yeah, speaking actually... of the boys, um they're heading to the town square about to cause a commotion. What are you guys up to? Boys, boys, boys. <laughs> just like dancing. <laughs> boys, boys, boys. Well, you, you notice on the map there's this, just the main thoroughfare where all these four roads like converge into this town square. Um at the very center of this uh this large roundabout is this large, magnificent tree. It's giving off these bright Pink sakura leaves. Now nah, this I mean, is a. Elaf is going to start walking up to the tree, and being like, "Hey, you're a big tree. Hope your day's going well." <laughs> Acknowledge the presence of tree. Pet. The Just tree. the usual thing. <laughs> Pet tree. <clears throat> yeah, we, I, we I just get to cheese because haha, fur bolts gets to listen to me. Mm -hmm. Um, just just because a few talk to us doesn't mean all of them will. Oh. It doesn't have to talk back. I know it heard me. So, what would you all like to do? Hmm. All right. So, honestly, if I were to stand around here long enough, we, she would probably just spot me. But we could potentially make ourselves known, or or we could just, you know, ask directions again. You are pretty a, a remarkable person. If someone is probably equally as beautiful as you, Alafi, it'd be easy to find. Oh, that's true. Yes, I mean, you're a bright green, beautiful man with flowing hair, so, yes. I guess it would be the female... What What, what does your life look like, Alafi? You never described her. I don't want to spoil the surprise. Oh. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Ah. Look at the series. She, she sounds like a looker, Tora. Yes, but that doesn't matter. She's taken. I know, but I mean, you could still admire a fine piece of art from a distance. Joust? Hmm? I wouldn't say that around other people. Some folk might not it's... understand that you're just a nice person. Yeah, but oh. yeah, best, best not to describe someone's wife as a piece of art. Oh, all right. Just, okay, not just art. Just Hmm. Maybe if it was like pain and Torah flirting, you could say something like that because you know them personally. But whoa, this, whoa, 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 let's <laughs> not let's not go there. I mean, I don't really get why that okay. matters. Pain and Torah are just good buddies. But either way, we should still look for your wife, Alafi. Just good buddies. Yeah, I, you're right. I mean, Jals would have no idea. He has no context of what a relation is, you're but you're married. Such, you're getting, getting such a glare right now. Yeah, Jaws just like shrugs. I don't know why we're staring at each other now, but all right. Oh, and Alafi is just fucking smiling back at you. It was funny. Yeah, just like, yeah, hey, fuck you. It's the <laughs> it's boys. It's very clear that Alafi's been in a very good mood. And I mean, you guys are probably about to see why. All right. All right. Uh, well, um... Here they are, random passerby. See any other phobogs around here? And I'm just stopping the nearest person. Just grabbing a guy. He's just walking <laughs> by. What? Uh, I'm, I'm, oh, excuse me? Uh, have you seen any other phobogs around? I'm looking for an old friend. What's that? You know what? Someone... Don't worry. I'll find someone else to ask. Oh, um, have a good day. I'm 
figure uh, it all out. All right. Have a good day. Walks off. Who responds, what's that to? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, I, I think he was more referring to, like, what's a furbog? What's a furbog? Yeah, not helpful in that case. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Alafi, most people are not familiar with your kind, remember? Oh, you... yeah, the whole hiding thing. Apparently yes. that went to strip, by the way. It's uh, rough. Uh, you oh. there for that conversation? No, I did not get that conversation, but it does oh. sound rough, buddy. Uh, mm. Either you two way. better start doing something, or someone better start making a lot of noise. All right. As he starts okay. pulling out his uh, his his accordion. That's just like, well, <laughs> let's not make a scene here. You know, we're trying to blend in, and I don't blend in very well. Um, oh, I'll I'll go to oh, another no. leaf guard or a different leaf guard. Tommy, look, he's a shiny towards. blue man. Yes, I am a blue man made out of metal. Yeah. Yes, Joust. You, Joust, you go ask someone else, and just turns to a lot of me like. Cause panic, cause chaos. Let me see it. <laughs> you want to see? It's literally the chaos Lucy that I've from the agenda. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking do it. And Ilafi is going to go ahead and just start doing his loudest performance he can with his <laughs> not so good accordion skills. All right, uh, give me a performance check. Starts belting out the crappiest love song you've ever heard that apparently isn't that bad but still bad don't stop believe <laughs> that love song oh uh, well he does never stop believing in his wife so yeah, true. You know. yeah. Yeah. yeah fair we'll take it just a small town girl oh my god <laughs> my, mommy look another blue man they're playing so Joust turns around to go talk to someone else, and that's when Alafi just starts. And he's gonna... I have... Oh my god. I just realized I can move and play at the same time, which means I can absolutely run up the tree thanks to my new level 9 feature. Oh yeah! <laughs> fucking, fucking kung fu fighting style. <laughs> oh. Are there any, like... If, you, if you're climbing up oh, the tree... Oh, there are rivers your... around, aren't there? A little creaks here and there, but... Uh, yeah, yeah. Any chance I get, I'm going to be playing this thing walking around town now. We want to cause chaos and can't just stick to one area. I'm going to take every opportunity to run across every single one of these streams I come across. So let Let's me... Just start going a little let, meandering. Let me get this straight. Um, you want yeah. to you want to do a road to El Dorado? Uh, road I guess so, El yes. El Dorado. I've only ever seen that movie like twice, I think. Yeah, so I don't they remember did the exact movie. same thing. Running, on yeah, except shoot, instead shoot. of a sword fight uh, across the streets of Spain, it's going to be a Laffy with an accordion across yes. the streets of Alais. Well, yes. Cora falls behind Mia laughing trees. his ass off, probably. And Joust getting obviously lost, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally thinking so. That. So while no, while Alafi is going, Tora has cast Major Image to make it look like the cherry blossoms are following after him <laughs> and and dancing around him. I, I want to go full Disney performance with this. Little town, it's a quiet village. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's like a blue man group. I... <laughs> this little kid's like, I should. Yeah, yeah, pain, drama, uh. As you're as you're head start about to head into the square and around the town, you know, checking things out, you hear a loud and boisterous performance belting out as it like starts running its way through the streets. Uh, <laughs> like a wave of cherry blossoms. <laughs> In no part okay, of so to you know, I think we might have made a wrong turn. Uh let's just um I mean we were looking for them, were we not? <laughs> <laughs> uh, do wanna... We can walk away. We can walk away, but then we don't know them. We'll just make them work at the cottage. We can start a whole new it, Toronto, just you and me. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and uh, I turn the other direction. Fortunately, Alafi's catching up to you. <laughs> yeah, you didn't sound like you're gonna outrun me, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> Fucking a lot just run sprinting at full speed while playing <laughs> while playing an accordion <laughs> with cherry blossoms following him. A wave of cherry blossoms, holy fuck. 
a high draw, a high pain. As I'm just sprinting past, like don't run across this particular pond out of this island for yeah. fun. <laughs> oh yeah, you could run on water too. Just <laughs> level nine, baby. Up surfaces on water, monks are wild. Uh, when, you guys when, might have trouble keeping up after this. When Tor when Tor goes when Tor goes by, there's just like a a quick cloud of uh, petals that just wrap Payne's head as he runs off. Yeah, like you, they, they've tried like a little crowd has tried to like give chase and like catch this sort of fast paced traveling musician. He's, the, so fast. The, He's moving so fast. By the you time know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fall back and see if I can just like you know. Just... I'm following pain. <laughs> following what? Following I'm me. Following pain. Huh. And, and I'm just, I'm just basically going to try and see if I can just watch the show with Tora. Just, just like, the yeah, fuck by, did you do? By the, by the time he reaches... Oh, Tora, Tora. Like the... you'd, you'd have to give chase, because Tora is following Alafi. And by, <laughs> by the time Alafi has reached the stream, most of, like, the little fans are, like, waving and cheering at him as he, like, bolts his way across the water. Oh, that would be a sight. Oh, fuck. Oh, dear. Hands and mouth never stop moving. Always singing. Uh, give me an acrobatics check. Easy. You're you're, you're multitasking here. Mo yeah, banana peel slip on the water. Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> I mean, if I stop moving, I do fall in. So like. Yeah, that is true. Hmm. Eighteen. Okay, you're fine. How 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 wide a how wide a water are we talking about? Um. I think your average canal. Mm. Kind of like uh, Paris, almost. Oh, Fifteen, less, yeah. 20 feet. 15, 20 foot. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna get yeah, lost and hopefully find a cleric. That's where I'm. Yeah, going. If there's if there's no if there's no bridge available, Tor is gonna face step across to keep up with him. <laughs> And that is your wish. That's what a how show. He loses us. All right, Miguel and Tulio over here. <laughs> this is fun. Yeah, totally not going to be a werewolf later. Totally not going to be a werewolf later. Uh, Alafi. Yes. Uh, as you've pushed yourself onto this small little island, this. Your eyes are just like darting around the town and catch a glimpse of someone. Excellent. Uh-huh. Across the canal in large open clearing. A few houses dotted here. A woman. Tall, boisterous, a fur bog, ending to flowers. I suppose that Alafi best be moving on in that direction. It should be. Yeah, when, when Tora notices the fur bog, he's gonna. That's when he's gonna stop and give Elafi his room. And Elafi is probably going to just stop and bring things back to Mello for a bit. He'll run back across and probably you, you, shake you hands with some of the people here. Like they're, 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 they're more across the town side while across the opposite way would be uh, unforgettable face of your wife. Yeah, we're just gonna go that way. <laughs> Posted the I mean, calling from a distance. Who's that I see? <laughs> yeah. Her head tilt up. Looks over and this large familiar fur bulg head tilts like 
strange disbelief. Close the distance. A lot we have so much to talk about. I'm back. It's wonderful to see you. Do you? Yeah. And I've already been filled in about all the crazy stuff that happened while I was gone. She just goes in for a quick, big old hug. Yup. In that hug, Alaf will say, I'm sorry I wasn't there. so long yeah so from my understanding everything I've learned trying to find you you've been here a while does does your life here been good Still can't I'm happy. You. I can hardly believe I'm here either. When I had to leave, it felt like my spirit had died, honestly. It's mine. The mountains felt just that much colder. And when we were taken underground. Sons and daughters. Home. If I had known, I certainly would have. I might have reached here, I'd nearly... Have you heard what's become of our son? This should give you a bit more hope. They managed to get free. And to curry the favor of a dragon to help him. Is he, I see. I met him on the way here. <laughs> he was pretty angry at you. Oh, I know. He's better than I was now. Stronger, I should say. Well, you did at teach least him everything we... you knew. No. You're the best among us. I would love to stay in chat. Uh, we should go somewhere where we can speak more privately. There are three very important details that need to be told to you soon. That is, uh, I need to know stuff about where our daughters are being held so I can go save the twins. That's where I'm going after this, maybe, by the way. Should we just stay Two. here? Once I get the family, then I can come back. And I'm not leaving forever this time. Though apparently I was lying the first time. Because here I am back now. The second thing. I've met some folks that have already agreed to help me. I'd love for you to meet them. They're a wonderful bunch. Very cheerful. I mean that one standing on the island over there. Yeah, that's one of them. 
Just see her give out like a big wave. <laughs> Tora waves back. You can see this lady taller than a lobby. Oh, so I like... Big woman. Mm -hmm. A giant woman. Uh -huh. Yes, <sighs> so if, uh, if there's a... I have a little cottage here where you're more than welcome to stay. I have so much to tell you. The past three weeks of my life have been wild. Which is a lot to think about, that a lot has happened in three weeks. Oh, jeez, you're right. I have one friend in particular that you absolutely have to meet, because he's the key to freeing our daughters. Um, and possibly everyone else. She just sort of points up to the top of the hill and just Oh, just up there. And then Alafi's gonna do the wave and come over here motion to everyone he can currently see? Just be Tora. Just Tora. I thought, I thought Pain and Drana were trying to keep up. Uh, they were backing off. Mm -hmm. yeah. Walk away, oh. walk away and, slowly, we don't know these people. And, <laughs> and, 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 and Jazz got horribly lost as he's like, well, I better walk that way. <laughs> oh, I seem to have lost all of them in my excitement to find you. Um, we need to drag them back. Uh, yes. Why don't we go for a little walk around the town then? Why don't you show me what's around? Surely. Another hug. Yes. Off they go, Man. the two furbolgs holding hands down the merry, the merry, merry. <laughs> so rude! Oh my god! And in You're as beautiful hey, hey, as the married. <sighs> yeah. You, oh, does she wear a ring? They don't have to share that with the rest of the village now, do that, they? That's a good question. Is she still wearing a ring? A ring? Well, we're walking. Oh, that you think furbolgs marry with rings? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know your culture. <laughs> like... To be fair, I don't know the culture either. It just doesn't seem like a thing that would happen. Yeah, uh, it would be a wood ring. <laughs> a wood ring, yeah. yeah or, you I don't know, yourself. maybe we just say some words to each other and trust each other. That's Yeah, you know the whole controversial hand stuff there. Oof. Anyway, while we're walking, Elafi's going to fill her in on all the not-too-important details, specifically, more importantly, the more recent travels, uh, everything that happened with uh, who he's going to refer to as Deathbow, and then explain that the son has effectively changed a name after incurring favor of this dragon. He bestowed this title, and that's what he's called now. Uh, explain that the gloves that he's got, or the hand wraps, are... What was it? A vestige, right? Yeah, a vestige of his. These are from him. Gave you those. Mm hmm. He had a good chat. Or he and I had a good chat. Where are these friends of yours? Oh, they'll be around somewhere. Uh, it'd probably be yeah. easier for us to just walk through town once they'll spot us easier than we can spot them. Yeah, Tora. Tor, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Tor, well, Tor is following behind, is giving you two space to catch up. Oh, no, 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 come here. All right, all right, right. I'll <laughs> jog to catch up. Well, I've got time to introduce the first one. This is Tora. A pleasure. Uh, Spellcaster of the group. He'll bow. I would bow, but I still wouldn't reach your head height. Understandable. I love her so much. Uh, imagine when, when Tora bows, it's very much a magician's like stage bow. It's not bow. like a... <laughs> Like one arm up, one arm folded in. The flourish. While you've been spilling details to her about the last few weeks, she has been divulging all of the uh, 
little hot spots to be found in Alea's. About how there's this one place that bakes the greatest loaves of bread you have ever tasted. This little, this little stage play that happens in this small little nook across the corner. All the little small things that Aleas has had to offer time she's been here. Well, I was away from you. I learned to play this thing. Pull up the accordion again. I don't know if you heard. Hard not to. Yeah, yeah. I hope my singing was alright. It was never the best, but uh I've been practicing. And what words come out of your mouth? It's music to me. Oh You're as sweet as ever. Uh Joss, what do you want to do? Uh, Jouse said he was gonna go look for a cleric, and I assume he's horribly lost in the town now, just wandering around, like, wandering. Incredible, you have wandering. no idea where you are. I've literally, like, it, like the little cutaway of just different moments and that's in different points. I don't know where I am. Uh, eventually he'll just, like, ask, like, maybe an older person if there's, like, a cleric or something that it would be around to help some holy area. Ah! Uh, uh, pardon me, uh, uh old Van. Um, I am looking for a place that might help me with my coloration. Someone pointed me uh, that I should go to a uh, holy place of sorts. Ah, is your skin blue? Well? And, and why is it shiny? Well, for one, I'm made out of metal. I think that's obvious. And two, I don't know why it's blue, but it happened. But they might be able to help me. They wild stuff. I don't get it. Need to get yourself <laughs> some skin, boy. Yes. Uh, well, maybe they could help me with that too, friend. <laughs> so, like, you know, you might have a point there, old timer. <laughs> Darn kids and no skin back in my day. <laughs> I don't know who's ever heard of a blue metal man. Yeah, but does he point me at least in an appropriate direction that I can head? Well, if you're looking for favor, you could attempt to the pray to the God Queen in her palace. Hmm. I think she might be a little too busy for something so minor, sir. Oh, on the contrary, she's quite a very generous God to her. Well, I do need to talk to her eventually, but I think I should get other people. Well, you know what? I'll see what she might have to say. Maybe she can schedule me in. That might be a good idea. She shall give you some skin. I, I might have to ask her about that. Yes. Well, you have a good day, friend. Tut tut. <laughs> so hey, kind of... hey. Let me get her back to my rocker. <laughs> 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 what have what have what have Pan and Drana been to since they backed away slowly? Uh, we're just we're just hanging out, just waiting for Lafi and and Tora to show back up. Maybe Joust, not holding, not holding her breath. They they never went to the end with you, so yeah, we have no idea where it is. <sighs> we're probably walking around the town center. Now yeah. that it's kind of vacant since he, since Alafi led everyone out of town. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'd actually like to try and see if I can uh, find somebody that might be able to point me in the direction of where uh, uh, most like Autumn Aladrin could be possibly seen or if the, the name Shiri Ruendo rings a bell to anybody. Uh, you're going to ask around? Yeah. All right, Persuasion. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Where's my persuasion again? Uh, persuasion is uh. Oh my goodness! It's a, it's a... It would be a plus five, but it's actually a plus six, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. It, if okay. you're proficient in it, yeah. Twenty-two. Ooh. Nice. Good rolls today. Yeah. Sorry, who was it you were looking for? Uh, Miss Shiri Ruendo. I've I've got a friend who uh who who has been kind of looking for her. 
Any idea what she looks like? Uh, Eladrin. Autumn Eladrin. I mean, that narrows it down. Thank you. About as much of a description as I can possibly get. I don't really have a detailed description. I mean, that's like describing, hey, have you seen a guy with hair around here? <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean... I assume a lodger make up the majority of this city. Am I wrong? Yes, uh, well... Try the Autumn District. They tend to frequent there more often than other Eladrin. Alright. <sighs> Shall we, um, see if we can find Tor and, and just, you know, pull him away and make a beeline there? Sure. Alright, let's go find Tora. Doesn't take long for you to find Tora. He's uh, currently sandwiched between two giant fur bulgs. I see someone's the third wheel. I wasn't trying. Yeah, it's not oh, me no, anymore. Which succeeded. My turn next. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. This is drama. Uh, More of your friends. Yep. Yeah. Uh. Even shorter than the last one, I know. <laughs> this one's like the size of her ankle. <laughs> Aren't you just adorable? You barely even come up to my kneecaps. Trotta will definitely not have the friendliest look on her face after hearing that, but... <laughs> down, down, girl. Go no, bad. Oh, Don't make me... Oh, she's <laughs> just even more adorable when she's angry. Hey. <laughs> Look any funny ideas. She's the sort stack of the group, so don't worry, can't get any shorter than this. The what? Short stack. Accurate <laughs> uh, description, yeah, gotta say. I mean You're lucky I don't have my <laughs> armor on. Anyway. Yeah, I'm very lucky. <laughs> anyway, Tor. Yeah. We're going to the Autumn District, you and me. Come on. Oh, joy. We're gonna leave. All right. Come on. All right. Leaving so soon, uh, I, bet uh, I didn't even get to hear your name. It's Payne. Yeah. Payne. He's named after how... <laughs> He's named after how oh, big no, 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 no. Hey, Drona, 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 Drona. Hey, little short stack, fledgling. Uh, no. Why are we... We found a lot of wife in the ass, to be clear. We found a lot wife, and it's tearing us apart. <laughs> well, uh, we have most of us here. Where did Jeff's go? No idea. Oh, God. That's What's not with good. You? Yeah, and then apparently I lost him, and I got a little too excited. Joust. Did you see him drag him over to the inn? Does he actually joust? No, not at all. That's a weird name. Just yeah. Friendly. He's a weirdo. You'll see. You guys remember the acronym? For it? Got a good heart. Can't say I do, no. Mm. Well, we should probably find Joust, if only just to introduce Zarkadi to him as well. Uh, Be nice to know everyone's faces. Yeah, and after you meet Joust, there's one more person you gotta meet. But we'll do that where no one else can see because it's a uh, special. Oh yeah, that one. That one requires a private audience. Yeah. Anyway, Drona, you want to stick with uh with these two? Be the third wheel. Sure, and that where way you're everyone uh, has someone who knows where the inn is. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> All right, Tora, we're trading. <laughs> All right, you're in. Back out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. Drama. Beside both of us, it's it's too funny. 
<laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> it, it's like a little Scotty oh dog God. on you, <laughs> honey. May I? Drop the middle, holding both the uh, uh, both hands. Whatever it is, yes. I apologize. It's drunk. been so long. Um, Donna, give me a give me a give me a strength save, or give me a athletics racker backs. You're being picked up. What? No. Oh, you're getting scooped. <laughs> Oh, I need oh, to no. see this. I need to oh, see this. Oh, God. And I'm not Good wearing luck. my armor. Good and luck. Again. This lady ain't weak. So you said athletics? Athletics or acrobatics. However you want to escape a grapple. Look at the little baby. Eleven. Nope, she's picking you up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, she just sort of hoists you up over her shoulders. <laughs> It's oh. been so long since I carried the kids like this. I... <laughs> Drona, you got taller! Middle it's finger. like the twins when they were one. <laughs> I give her a middle finger back. <laughs> Maybe I'm happy we came here after all. Yeah, well, you know what? Count our blessings. Come on, let's go. You're gonna make your way back to the Fox Nook. Uh, Tora and I are going to head over to the Autumn District. Ah, very well. Probably run into Joss while there. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know where the hell I am. <laughs> oh, to simplify things. As you find Joss in the Autumn District. Joss is <laughs> probably sitting down at a bench like, well, I, I've had to face it. I'm hopelessly lost. <laughs> He's like, damn. We could just leave him. We could just leave him and, and just like keep walking. Pretend we don't know him. I like to picture like a bunch of birds and just sitting already... on him thinking he's a statue. <laughs> like... Didn't you already pull that bit once? I got can dream, can't he? Look, I don't want to leave him wandering alone. God knows what trouble he'll cause. <sighs> Fine. Hey, Tin Man! Just looking left and right. Is there someone made of tin? You. Oh, Pain. There you are. I, I see you are just as lost as I am. No, I know exactly where I'm going. You're the one that's lost. Uh, yes, that's why I sat down. The most important rule is if you're lost, sit down and wait for someone to find you. But anyway. you got to the Autumn Court before you did that. Oh. This is what that court is? This is the Autumn District. Oh. All right. Well, then. Uh, did Alafi find his wife at all? I, I lost them. He was he running did. off trying to play music, and I went one way and he went the other. It was a very happy reunion. You, it's, it's fine. I'm sure you'll have a chance to catch up. All right. Well... I'm still going to be looking for something to help with my discoloration. I don't want to bug you all. I'll be on my way. No, no. You, you, buddy system. Buddy system. If you're going to yes. continue going into any town on your own and get hopelessly lost, I'm not going to find you again. Okay. And but, the next uh, time I do find you, I'm leaving you on your own. Quick question. If we are going to use the buddy system, we are a group of five. Who is my buddy? You and Tor you and Tora, Tora and Pain are a buddy. I suppose Drano's with Alafi, but I do not have a buddy. <laughs> you forget, Drano is being the third wheel for Alafi and his wife, so very technically she doesn't have a buddy right now. Ah, very well. And then I shall be the third wheel between oh, the two is, of you. This is how this is how it works. Sunshine is my buddy. I am okay. your buddy, and you are Sunshine's buddy. Ah, the trifecta buddies. All right. That seems good. <laughs> sure, whatever. Thunder buddies, let's go. <laughs> Never say that out in public, please. Well, um, maybe, uh, so why are you all here? I am looking for someone to help with this coloration. The lady we found to help with Alafi, who seemed quite interested in Alafi for some reason, um, helped him with his problem. As far as I know, he should be cured in three days. I thought you should be no want to know that. That seems like prevalent information. I mean, definitely is, but we'll have to see if that actually is true. 
Yes, that is true. It, she she had a very interesting way of wording it that does concern me, but also, could it really be any worse? That is true. I, right. I mean, the only worse thing is that we all die. And the second is, the only person that recommend me to get fixed is go see the God Queen, and apparently she just is around. Yeah, I don't think we're ready to really have a, an audience with, uh, with the God Queen. Well, I mean, yeah. they said I should get skin as well. Do you think I should ask for skin while I'm no, at it? No, no. You'd want to ask a cannibal for that, and I don't think that they have those around here. I, I, th I think asking for skin might be the worst thing you could potentially ask for. Yeah. Well, yeah. An elder James gentleman thought so. Hmm. Oh, well. well. The elder gentleman isn't always correct. Wow. So, in any case, uh, I found, so, uh, Drona and I have found a lead um, mm. for, for Tora. So, same amount of respect required here. All right. I mean, there is plenty of Eladrin I have seen here. Yeah, so, um, what does your sister look like, Tora? Well, believe it or not, she looks kind of like me. Ah, so, so I'm... Twins? We're not twins? We're not twins, but we do look fairly close. She keeps her hair to one side as well, though it's lower swept than mine, but it's the same red shade. What okay. about her skin color? Is it similar to your shade? Oh, yeah. It, I mean, it's, you know, it's a ba basics middle of the road, you know, autumn Eladrin skin tone. Ah, all right. I do not know. There, as far as I have known, Eladrin seem to be very different colors. So perhaps I thought she could have been a burnt sienna or a... Um, Darker brown or anything. Well, I mean, not a fair. Maybe assumption. a not not a bad assumption, really. To be fair, I mean. To be fair, she. To be fair, she might be a little paler than than I. Hmm. Very well. Yes, you have that weathered, rugged look. So, mm. uh, shall we ask around then? All right. Excuse me. Have you seen a person that looks a lot like this person? <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh wait. Never mind. He's right there. Carry on. <laughs> no. All right. I do not remember your sister's name. What is her name? Her name is Shiri. Shiri. All uh, right. I'm. I'm gonna try uh, asking around. See if with this description, I can. I can, like, whittle down a possible location of where we can find her. Tora. Hmm. You hear a whisper in your head. I need you to listen to me very carefully. I need you and your little posse on that next corner and go down the alley. Is this a whisper I recognize? It is. Oh, shit. Well, I bet we, I guess we should just start looking around. Yes. Yep. Hmm. And I know the first direction I need to go. I like and your I'm sense just, of direction. I'm just, I'm, oh, I'm literally yanking pain in, into the alleyway. Ah! Wait up for your third wheel. It's just the direction of pain. <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't need to. I knew I didn't need to drag Joust. Yeah. Joust is like third wheel away, like cartwheels after them. Like, I love this. Like, well, now he's knows the concept of a third wheel. Like, yes, I am a wheel. So, all the instructions whisper in your head. Headed down this narrow unassuming alley between cottage house you notice windows of these cottages are shuttered closed and recognize this trick as you use it very often Instant, this sort of
fey wild teleportation. <laughs> Young woman, orange skin, this part as Tora described that goes down her face, sort of full knitted cap that keeps it all tight and bound. Oh, she's a spunky younger version of Tora. <laughs> sort of like low cut top with this sort of like patchwork armor going down one of her arms. Well worn boots. We're staying in the city and already causing a commotion, are we? It was a little quiet for my tastes. Ah, Tora, we can ask them. Excuse us. We are looking for a person that no, has... No, no, no. Take out, out, fucking out. hint, please. Hmm? 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 Tora, that person looks a lot like the person you described me just now. <laughs> okay, okay, just back up. Very back up. good, Metal Man. Now, tell me, what else can you assess from what he has told you? Well, I assume your name is Shiri. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just like, I am Joust. <laughs> and, <laughs> it's just, just like, well, I don't want to pose. This seems like a wonderful reunion. It Joust, seems... you're making it embarrassing for the rest of us. Well, all right. Hello, I am Joust. <laughs> it's just like pain. You know your brother? Yes? Yes. Oh, he's probably not using his real name anymore. Tora is not your real name. <laughs> it's just like... <gasps> he always the liked to do that as a fun little anymore. parlor trick. Oh. Please, what is his real name? I need to update my registry. No, oh. don't you dare. Don't you dare. Because he will never stop using it and it will annoy me. Of course, why ruin the fun of a good alias? Ah, right. I System mean, you could tell me and I'll keep my mouth shut. No. Well, it's not like I'm going to use it. I best say we keep our mouth shut and answer my questions here. What are you all doing here? Well, for starters, we were looking for you. Last we checked, you turned up in a, in a slaver's journal. Was a bit of tricky business, that. Not good at tying knots, though. Or locks. Or doors, really. They are circus performers. I wouldn't imagine they're good at keeping people trapped for too long. No, between here and when they decided to do that, Able to easily break out. A low profile here for a bit. Yes, what are you doing here? You mean you don't know? Oh, I guess nobody told you. It was all so sudden anyways. Honey, I'm looking for our mother. Fucking nerd. I fucking nerd. Sorry. <clears throat> it's just, it's just like, oh boy, so many family members to keep track of. Well, this <laughs> one... This one's a little more tricky because she was presumed dead. Oh boy, the mystery gets even yeah. more so. Yeah, dude, last I checked, that hadn't changed. Like, what did you find out? Well, <sighs> shouldn't be saying this stuff here. Walls have goddamn ears around here. You have a safe place? 
We've been staying over at the uh, the Fox's Nook. Good. Meet you there tonight. Sounds good. And, and try not to cause any more motion. Oh, the vine guards have got their eyes on you now. I did talk to them a few times. I make no promises with this one, as he points to Joust. Hello. <laughs> we'll keep him in check, and I will actually be on good behavior for once. Forgive me if I sound ungrateful. It's good to see you. We have a lot to talk about tonight. Mm. Right. And just a flash, just poof, she vanishes. From I like your sister. She's very much like you. She reminds me a lot of pain. Excuse you? She's mysterious. And rude. <laughs> it's just like this, like, <laughs> and very rude. I was just being polite. <laughs> it's like just... You were being a little bit too familiar, is what you were. Well, no, I just met the woman. But either way, well then, I guess we better go. Uh, I mean, I still don't know anyone who could fix my color in, but I guess we could live with it later. Just, we should just, go back to this. It's a minor room. issue. We can deal with it later. Come on, I'll, I'll leave All it right. to, live to the end. All right. And by the way, what is a fox's nook? It's like a hidey hole. Ah, to the hidey hole. <laughs> he, he proclaims in the middle of this alley. <laughs> to the hidey hole. <laughs> just... Let's just get him back to wherever this hotel is. Fair enough. And you retrace your steps through the city. And with happy smiles and waves along the way. We had warnings about this. Can I insight check the smiles that I'm seeing? Like, how natural this feels? Certainly. Give me an insight check. Oh, no. I want to leave. Nat 20. Oh, shit. Beautiful. I love to see it. Six. All right. This stinks of evil. From the moment you've walked into the city, you couldn't shake the feeling that you were being watched. Whether it's a greeting from a vine guard, happy smile from a child, a shopkeep serving his fresh bread in the morning. It almost seems like all eyes have been It's tame and peaceful here. In that overtly too much kind of way. It's quiet. Too quiet. <laughs> hmm. I got a bad feeling about this. I don't know why. I like it. <laughs> of course you do. Let's, let's just get with the others and get to the end. Yeah. We've got a, we've got company to prepare for. Yeah. Sounds good. Been perusing the city, getting your cures and entertainment and lodging situations carried away. I'd say it's about mid afternoon, like around dinner time or so. You all gather back at the uh, box's nook. Yeah. The woman behind the counter greets you warmly. Ah! Your friends warned me about you. Um, uh, room's already available. Um, we made sure that they were next to each other. Um, just upstairs, both rooms on the left. Appreciate it. Thank you. Of course. 
Will you be having dinner with us? Uh, not at the moment. We've got some business to discuss. Thank you for the invitation, though. Very well. Well, oh. all right. Who's here? Head upstairs. Yep. See that the right. the gang is all gathered round, including Zarkadi, who only put Grana down when she realized she was too tall for the doorway. <laughs> it was there. adorable while it lasted. I just couldn't help myself. I saw a small, adorable little thing. I had to pick it up. I, I do not blame you. I just would not have done it with her armor on. Yeah, but I way a lot. The thing is, she didn't have it. Oh, that so, was. A... I. Oh, for a second, I thought you said she was stopped. wearing armor. Okay. No, no, she's she's not. She's not. No, no. Probably explains why you were so light. Thank you. I try to keep my. I try to keep my physique. Ah. I'm gonna I... keep my mouth shut on whatever comments that I have to make regarding that. Um anyway, uh Yeah, so did Alafi keep you uh get get you updated on all the things? Not all the things. A lot of the things. And I kept your guys' like personal stories for you guys to tell because it's so much more fun to hear the stories when told by the individuals. If small, you small want to tell us here and there. Hmm. Yes, yeah. it is nice to meet you, um, Zerkati, I believe. Yes, Zerkati. I am, I am Jows, journeyman, orator, utility, service, technology. <laughs> I will try to remember that, but no promises. You, you could call just call Joust. me. You could call me Joust or Metal Man, or apparently that blue guy also works now. You just joust. Don't worry about it. Joust. <laughs> and by and by and you are very tall and lovely to meet, Miss. Very flattered thing. I I look at a laughing and be like, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. Giant woman. No, uh, hey, if that's all what every man dreams of, man, a giant woman. <laughs> hey, man, brother. No. Hey, oh. man. Yeah, brother. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> with that. We're going to go ahead and uh, bring out the, the last member of our party. Jess is like, oh, there's another party. Sure, here it comes. It. And so we'll pop the mask. Pop the fists. Eh, just the mask. The mask. I can choose. It's fair and balanced. Don't worry about it. All right. Oh, yeah. It takes two key points for me to do both. Uh, luckily for just the mask is one. Mm -hmm. And here we have the last member of our party. This is the guy who got me moving again. How you doing in there, by the way, with the uh, the other person thing we'll have to meet? Your blood's boiling again, lad. Oh, I know. I know. I'm so sorry. Nice. You know, I was having a nice, relaxing time in here until you stopped taking the medicine. I ran out. I, what did that potion that lady made me drink do? Can you tell? It made me very uncomfortable. It made me very uncomfortable as well. Do you know the apothecary over on the hill? The left hill point in that direction. Oh, Dicas, yes. And, yeah. I think she likes me. It's concerning. He likes a lot of things, honey. Okay. So, uh, to explain, this is more Grand Duranderal. I don't can explain anything further than that. Yes. When I left, obviously, the whole point was for me to stay hidden, away from you, and the rest of the family, and the rest of the furbogs. And so I went about as far away as I feasibly could. But I went to the Whispering Coast. The nice. rumors about ghosts wandering the Whispering Coast are very, very true. As I said, I felt my spirit had stopped. 
but the this spirit decided that there was much more spirit to be had, so now I'm here. It hitched a ride. Yeah. And armed with its knowledge and my knowledge and what we have together. I will often pop the fist now just to show the strength. Everybody around First make off, a deck safe note. I'm just hit the ground, hit the wall and go down. Ah. Well, he must have been very lonely by himself if he needed to attach to my hubby. Don't push your luck, lady. <laughs> I did not expect that to be the first thing that you guys would say. I appreciate you so much. And it just grabs our karate and a hug again. I can imagine the ghost arms while Lafayette's giving a hug is just like shrug like yeah, that. Yeah, that, huh? awkward, that, that awkward like, ah, oh, this is it, weird. If you, were hugging, if you were hugging her, the arms would be hugging her and the bed are behind her. <laughs> God, this is so gay, even for me. They are a lovely couple. It's actually quite cute. I feel like we should go to the other room. I feel like we're invading privacy here. Uh, I mean, no, it's actually... we can hear every single thing you say, right? <laughs> yeah, that's why we're saying maybe we should give you some privacy. I mean, you, know, you were, you were a like a bed. woman. You were it's like a man a... possessed to get to her. That's true. Uh, that's um, it's it's actually not a bad idea. And it's actually not a bad idea, and I'd like to check the other room anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go stand downstairs. I'm not done yet. I still need you here for the last piece of information. Okay. So I've been refraining from telling you the part of the travels where I was bitten by a were shark. The thing Duranderall said about my blood boiling is likely that. It's time you've been fighting it. Currently, it's hardly noticeable. He had some medicine. Yes. He did. That is why we saw the druid earlier. I so I hope she was a druid and not like a laundry woman or something. She said that potion would take effect in three days, which means I just need to outlast this feeling for three days. I may need you to knock a slightly fishy version of me on my ass multiple times over the next three days, hon. That is... You'll see. Oh, well, no. Hopefully you won't see. Hopefully with uh, Durandral's help, we can keep that in check. Hopefully I won't have to give you a love tap. No, I'm I not gonna ask. I'm not gonna wish I'm gonna ask. the rest of this crew didn't just hear that because they're not going to let me live that down. No, no, not at all. You see her just take the staff that she's had and just Slam it down on the wood floor. And I think that's our cue to leave. Yeah. If you guys hear shouting, come back. I don't. I legitimately have no idea when I could turn. Nope, you're on your own. No, 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 no I'll, I'll, I'll keep. My I'll last keep question the... before you all go. Mm. The staff. We don't. We don't need it, right? None of you guys wanted it. Yeah. No. no. Yeah. I'm not too much of a stick, fella. Look, stick is good, but no, not Stick is very good. <laughs> I, I can't help myself. I want to give the staff of the Woodlands to Zarkadi. Yes, that seems perfect for... Her. Sounds Go good. So I'll give it to... magic staff to the other monk. Oh, boy. So I'm going to hand that over. Here, take this. I've traveled hundreds of miles. suffered through many hardships... It's a ride with the king of the dwarfs. Ancient king. Dwarves don't currently have a king. Contracted... Unless you wanted to call... Oh, go ahead. 
Contracted lycanthropy, and the first gift you give me is a stick. Yes. Precisely. Who loves you, baby? <laughs> Must be a very special stick of giving it to you, obviously. You all can leave now. You don't want to see what happens next. Okay, yep. We're no, leaving. we do not. <laughs> and we don't, want to, we don't want to hear it either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as Joss is just like, well, I better go downstairs. Doop do doop do doop. Then it's just the it just Olafi turns to Zafradi and just the to be to continue. Jojo, don't be the round of that. <laughs> oh snap! Well, in the other room now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll go down <laughs> into, the, into the main room and just stand there. Yeah. Keep watch. Yep, that's what I'm doing. You got it, buddy. Mm -hmm. I don't... Alrighty. Oh. Uh, Tora, did you find your sister? Um, We did have a run-in, yes. And we are expecting her... While I'm talking, I'm casting major image in front of us mm -hmm. to actually to actually write a message in the air. Mm -hmm. And the the message is, um, the smiles are too friendly, the eyes are too many. Don't trust anyone from the town, including the wife. Oh shit! Should we look? Movie? Anna, can you still do that head talk thing? I uh, thinks in Tora's head. Of course, I can. Yeah, uh, mm -mm. head talk's very good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> na 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 na. Na na na. na. <laughs> Use that to pass it to the others when you can. We'll do. No, I'm just. I'll, I'll, uh, wipe, I'll wipe the message. I am. I'm going to go lean up against the far wall. So not the one that Alafi and the, not the one to Alafi and his okay. wife's room. The so opposite. But to the yeah, the opposite wall. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can hear breathing on the other side of that wall. Ooh. Maybe a perception check. Making sure no one's listening. <sighs> I mean, hey, spies are everywhere. That's true. true. We are in enemy territory. That is true. Uh, so, do, do you mind if I make a perception check up? Uh, yes, I said perception check. Oh, I didn't hear that. Yep. Apologies. What I want. 21. 21. No, like, suspicious breathing up against the wall, though. You do, do hear the open snoring as someone has taken early bedtime. Uh -huh. Who, whoever's on that, si that side is asleep, so we should be safe as long as no one's outside. That's not. Are there any suspicious looking birds out the window? <laughs> <laughs> One really suspicious looking vulture. <laughs> Just like, hmm. Um, well, you, you see a bird there um, in the shape of Sh Shiri's head. Uh, there's someone oh. spying on us. That's fine. I know that one. Oh. As like in, That's in, in definitely in, ominous. In a flash, I'm, I'm, there's like a face step through. That is very uh, creepy. How do you do that? Practice. Sure, we'll leave it at that. I like to etch my s s tricks onto uh, metallic items. Fair enough. Just don't go scratching my shield. It's one of a kind. Oh, honey, that's way too... 
<laughs> I'm coming Oof. from a lodger of all things. <laughs> I have, it would it would figure you'd want a trick to your magic too. <laughs> Yours has more show, mine has more uh act. As a sh you see her like balancing three metallic cups together in unison. Fascinating. You know, I learn a trick or two, I etch it into one of the cups so I remember which one to do. Where'd you pick up that idea? Oh, some crazy circus performers that, oh, I don't know, kidnapped me. Well, it's at least resourceful. How I got out. I convinced them somehow that I was going to do little parlor tricks for their show while they hand-delivered me to the queen. Got him real fast not to trust me. Would have would have had their balls in a cup too if I wasn't in a hurry. Well, we ran into them too. You might get their balls yet, depending on how this goes. Ah, good. Just don't know. I can't piece it together. I know she's here somewhere, though. I just know it. Who? What makes What makes you so sure? What? I'm out of the loop. Sorry. She's Our looking mother. for her mother. Ah. Who apparently isn't dead. No, because... It was supposed to be ending up one of the tributes that the Eladrin decided to quote unquote sacrifice. The greater good of our autumn court. Ugh. There was no consoling father, you obviously. No, he went through a lot of jugs of wine trying. Now, sometimes it's tough being a slave to your feelings, you know? The day you're indulging in celebration, the next you're indulging to forget everything. But that's, that's enough of our daddy issues. We got mommy issues to fix. Yeah, w yeah, one parent at a time. So what was your lead that brought you here? <sighs> Just some information that leaked from uh, back in my time in the Feywild. One of those things that passed through the mouths of nobles there. They're all in on the trick. Keep us under the... Under the veil with promises of feasts and buffets and... Rivers of drink. Whatever indulgences they can distract us with. While they continue to bend themselves over for a god that doesn't even apply. I don't know how, but you speak my language. I'm wondering if you're familiar with the um, rumors of an oncoming famine. I mean, those in the known knew that from a mile away. 
Yet they yeah, continue to do it. Well, it's it's definitely happening. That's we the, only have five months until it fully takes effect. That's the part I'm the most confused about. I want to know why it's still happening, even though everyone still knows about it. They know Probably. they're steamrolling themselves all the way to their end. From... Okay, um... May I ask, um... How many years has Queen Aleus been getting tribute? Oh, and that's a long time ago. It was when she first made her way into the Feywilds after the wars against uh, the giants and the dragons. Then shouldn't this city be larger? You'd think that. Which is why it's so suspicious that there's so few people here. It's been going on for as long as it has. That's the first the, that's, that's, the, that's the first hint that something's wrong here. Should be more people here if they're all coming. And that's where all the food's going. But you think that they're eating people? No. no. They're keeping them somewhere. Prisoners. To what end is the question? Yeah, we haven't been able to figure out what a goddess needs with so many sacrifices. An unwilling army. That's my guess. Not plenty of troops. They've got the vine guards up the wazoo from here all the way to Dragonbloom. I mean, it's a goddess. There's no limit to how many will throw their bodies into whatever she wants. Besides, nobody sees the country of Aleas as a threat as far as I know. It's all tourism and indulgence and pretty sceneries. What we do know is that she is absolutely paranoid and we know for one reason why. It's her biological son. You mean... As far as I knew, gods couldn't have sons, or daughters, she tried. or children for that matter. She tried. And you know what came of that child? I imagine something very gross. A beholder is definitely very gross. Not That's far off pretty the coast gross. From here. Yeah, not for that far off the coast. There were actually some sailors that had apparently gone to that island and uh, nearly got disintegrated. Oh, shit. Yeah. Not sure how much that changes things here, knowing that, but... It's it's at least something to go off of. It, it, it's something in the back pocket. I don't know what it would be used for. Leverage, maybe? To what end? To scare her into possibly maybe breaking this pact that she has with the, with the Feywild? Because otherwise, then she has two problems. She's got. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Did you just suggest blackmailing a god? Maybe. Shut up. It's okay, forget what I said ball. about balls. Here, she's the, the, this this pain here. This one's got the balls. Oh, oh, <laughs> sunshine is adorable sometimes. Excuse you. Anyway. Look, no reaction for Tora, not going to justify it. <laughs> You're the weird one. Anyway, so I'm saying though that, like, if she has two problems that she already doesn't really need to have, and she only needs to take care of one, you know, having that in the back pocket as some kind of blackmail to get her to stop might not be a bad idea. Better than having nothing and having your back against the wall. I don't know. Saying something like that sounds like it would just piss her off. It would. We'd need something to go along with that leverage. We'd need something to protect us. And something to fight back. What do we have? Well, we got this shield. 
the tacky shield. Some magic into it, see what it does. Oh. Okay, and... You sure about this? I don't want to hurt you. She can take it. Let me put my armor on, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Give me ten minutes to dawn on my no. armor. <laughs> oh, no. You know what? I'm, I'm going to have to agree. She's the one that's um, a little bit more skittish. I'm... As long as you don't make me bleed, I should be fine. I just, and, just... Uh, I ho and I hold up the shield. <laughs> a common little cantrip, nothing to worry about. Good. Nat 20. <laughs> sort of see her, like... In a way, like, blow a kiss at the rim of one of the cups, and you see it begin to light a blaze as she... Sort of, like, almost like pouring a glass of water out on someone's face, she casts a firebolt out in such a fashion. Nice. I and I'm going to attempt to absorb it with the shield. All right. Which is one d10, correct? That's what it says on on my notes. <laughs> oh, so it's like kind of like a like catching a bolt kind of thing for a moment. Mm. Neat. Neat. So yeah. Five. <laughs> Gonna hit your armor class regardless. He's pretty accurate, goddamn. Uh, so well, ten, the shield reduces it to five. Oh yeah, five fire damage. All right. Wait, it, it's it's noticeable in the uh, the way the. Uh, the shield hums shield as it just begins to s absorb the, the damage from this cantrip. Okay, that's new. Usually when and I pour hot water I'm on someone's face, they're... Soot. Yeah, usually when I pour hot water on someone's face like that, the, they burn a lot harder, but that's... This That's... is just a prototype. Mm. But it's the first one and it's one of a kind. It's made of a very specific kind of material that we found in Iron Edge. Well, the college is working on uh, examining its properties at the moment. And we think that it could be connected to a very specific kind of forge that Alays definitely would be afraid of. Okay, but that was just me casting a little spell at you. I'm sure she's gonna have a lot more stronger stuff to throw at you. That's the thing. I don't doubt that, but again, this is a first attempt at something. If this, metal was, if, this, if this metal was used at the forge we're thinking about, you're talking about weapons that can nullify magic and potentially slay gods. Or, That's something to fear. Now we're talking... Or, or armor that would make the college's magic worthless, if done properly. Or make gods' magics worthless. Yeah. Might be onto something. It's still being researched, and it's still going to take some time to actually make any more materials. That's the problem. And we're that's... working within a, a five-month timeline. Still, that's something. If we can manage to scrounge something up in time. <sighs> oh, Rocky is still in contact with the college. And you can send some messages over to your parents for... Of course, but getting it here is going to be the hard part. Yeah. 
I wonder if Padre might be able to get some kind of underground network to deliver it. Oh, I'm sure Padre would. If he could, that would be fantastic. I'd hate to put more work on him than I already have, but this is a bit more important. <laughs> you, you begin to hear your sister chuckle a little bit. Funny. I'll make crazy, but it sounds like we're about to start a revolution. And here we go again. It wouldn't be our first. Yeah, she's pirate queen. Yeah, uh, I'm the pirate queen of. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll just keep that information in the back pocket then. Right. <laughs> so, is this why you left? A little bit. But it was definitely to find Mother first. I and can't... I suppose with I suppose with information from the nobles is that's why you didn't leave a trail to tell me that you were doing this. I really wanted to tell you, truly, I did. But if too many people started acting out all at once, then it would have all gotten suspicious. Might as well have just been a sad story of mom getting lost and sister running away from home and a daughter chasing after her mother corrupt people that brought her there but you're here now it means we can do something And if we can't find Mother, then we're sure as hell going to make the Queen pay. Now that's the Shiri I know. I'll keep, uh, I'll keep trying to stay low and bolster whatever I can from who I can. Not much here. Very untrustworthy of the people here. For good reason, apparently. Are they under a charm of some sort? I don't know. This is far beyond anything I've learned. Does it affect the Olden Court like it does everyone else here? Who is human, feral? No, it seems to be... Contained. Doubt the Autumn Court would notice anyway. Any any noble there has their head so far up their ass you can't tell if they're farting or burping. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's good, a good one. Good one, I like that. <laughs> yeah, ass over whatever. <laughs> Your brother's a weird one. Whole family is. I don't want to burn your ears off too hard, but uh, yeah, we'll have to uh, we'll have to meet again really soon. For now, yeah. so you won't tell me. Viva la revolution! Oh my God, shut up. <laughs> Where you're talking? Ta you're, you're talking like the Elvish now. I hate you. God. <laughs> <laughs> Why are the elves French? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, she she bids you adieu. Hey, you sure you're not gonna tell me a secret? Come on now, damn it. And before just, oh, I'm just too curious. looking back at the window and <laughs> vanishing out. Just seeing her poof away outside.
Oh, you you never saw her, Joust. Oh yeah, I've I've just been standing down in the lobby, just like waiting there. You, you've just like, you've her. just been seeing patrons eating dinner and a busy woman in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. There, I'm I'm just staring at the uh, woman working. By the way. Okay, that's creepy. Anyway, uh, Tora, you sure that's your sister? Talks like her, acts like her. Why? This is a great way to get us executed for treason and such. This seems a little too convenient. I feel like at this point, we don't really have much choice in who we need to place our trust in. It doesn't seem like Sarkadi is as reliable as we would like her to be, as lovely as she is. And it seems like Shiri knows exactly what's going on here. Shiri's the, Shiri's the only one not smiling or passing this whole place off. Yeah. I get the concern, but I think we need to place our trust in someone and our best bet is her. I agree, but I still don't like it. Well, well, to, to be fair, there is a reason I didn't mention Calypso. Fair. Or the weapon that our friend here is carrying. Oh, no one needs to know about. No one needs to know about the withering. Not yet. That's the come. name. Yeah, it is the name. That is the Aww. name I picked. Ah. Look, did you see that log? It shriveled. I, absolutely I, shriveled and turned to dust. I was just hoping you'd call it the Ray of Sunshine. Absolutely not. That would be something Aww. beautiful. Oh my god. Listen, when you get a fancy weapon, you can call it the Ray of Sunshine. I mean, weapons don't suit me, but you know what? Maybe. Maybe I will. Maybe you'll get a magic you... item or something like that. I don't know. Either way... We need to figure out what's wrong with the townspeople. Well, we've got some time to get our bearings. So... Best to start first thing in the morning. I agree. So you're all set for the night? I am. Mm -hmm. I am gonna. I'm gonna briefly double check something. I. I should still have the. The book we took from the circus, right? Correct. The ledger thing, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to look at Shiri's entry again. What are we trying to glean from it? Um. The exact wording of it, like what was written down. It could be Capro Hester. I just want to make sure that what I wrote in my notes is the is the same. Re investigation check. Read a book, okay. To glean. Well, 13. As far as you know, mental notes are accurate. It's her name? Her capture by the circus?
So, you notice something different as you're carrying the line. You're not sure whose, but there's a distinct change in the handwriting. And it goes from the name above and the name below hers. As if her name was squeezed in between deliveries. Would I recognize it as... Would I know if it's her handwriting or not? It's been a long time since you've gone and looked through your sister's diary, so... <laughs> <laughs> he would. Whatever, Tor, get out of my diary! <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you wouldn't... You're unable to glean that information. You only know that someone else has written in this ledger besides the ringmaster who is in charge. Close the book, put it away. Alright. Anything else for the night? I know Laffy's already faded to black. Uh, Tor, do you want to just stay in this room for tonight, considering, you know... I I'm certainly not going to ask to be in the other room. <laughs> yeah. Anyone who's paying any bit of attention doesn't actually hear anything from Alafi's room, they're just talking. It's totally right. faded to black, though. Oh yeah, it, it faded to black, just to give you guys the idea that was happening, but it's not what happened. <laughs> Just them spooning. It's spooning. Aww. <laughs> Cuddling. Listen, listen, it's been 80 years. I just need a hug. Exactly. I just want you to hold me. <laughs> I mean, Joust would just be eyeing everybody just as in the behavior. And besides, it'd be awkward if she behavior. didn't. It'd be awkward if she didn't have her weapons on when she needed to beat my face in when I turned and tried to eat her. <laughs> so. I, I am I am gonna mention to the other two. We might have been a little too honest with her. You think she wasn't doing the same for us? You remember reading through this ledger? Yeah. When I first read through it, it mentioned that Shiri was a tribute to the autumn to the autumn court, but she was offered. For Sadiel, it mentioned incomplete. If Shiri had been offered, then why? How did she escape and not be mentioned incomplete as well? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Here, I'm I'm also I'm gonna hand the ledger over to Payne. Uh can I see if I can investigate and glean anything from this? I mean sure if you want to give it a try. Okay. Ten. Fortunately you're only picking up what Tor's laid down in front of you. He, he points out that uh, these handwritings are completely different. And there's not much else you can really glean from it. When was the last time you you uh, saw your sister's handwriting? Been a long time. Can't quite place it. Hmm. What I don't like is the fact that it's wedged between two other names. Almost like it wasn't supposed to be there. So she forced herself to get in there? Or this whole thing is a cover story, and this has been a setup the whole time. May, may I take a look? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, sure. Man, can I, 
I, I know this is weirdly specific, and you said it's squeezed in between other names, Gub, but does it al it, does the spacing align with the the previous pages spacing? Mm. As in, or does it look like this is like? It's meant to be double spaced, but there's just this written in where it's not double spaced. Mm, I see. I see what you mean. Yeah. Want like me to roll did, investigation? Did it like going from no, single space? No, no. This would space. this would just be a simple observation of just like the patterns, the symmetry, just the spacing between the lines, like how uniform it is. It's no, you got you got a point. It it does it does look like it was wedged. Alright. She wrote it herself. She got herself captured. She has to hand it back. She 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 wouldn't have to write it in herself if she got herself captured. Unless they didn't know. No, no they would have just added her name in under the rest, the same spacing as the others. She added herself in and got into one of the crates, so it didn't look like there was any misdeliveries. But she mentioned breaking out and escaping, which meant she would have been caught. And even then, it doesn't make sense for her to be written down as offered when others are mentioned as incomplete. Offered and denied, maybe? No, it would say so. That's the thing. I think... I think you're right in that she's not telling us the whole story. But at the moment, I don't think we're in a position where we can question it. We can have our suspicions, but we can't really confront her about it. You might be able to, out of the... out of the lot of us. Because, you know, family. I just feel like we're walking right into something. We are. This whole place has been a trap since we walked in, and we've noticed it. Well, I mean, we've been kind of heading towards this way anyway, and and we're here now. Might as well figure out what it is that we can do. Don't get ourselves killed doing this, but all right. I'm Listen, getting... I've died once. I'd rather not do it again, thank you. And I've yet to experience that, so... Yeah, I hope you don't have to experience it. Alright. Uh, as for you, Joust, um, if anything, you're the oddball out observing all the patrons at the restaurant. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm just trying to see, like, Smile and behavior, anything like, like, is it not like the, I don't know, like something, if there's anything really causing everything, like everyone's been unusually friendly. And I mean, I do like being friendly, but maybe it's because I'm just blue. Hmm. Give me an but I'm just like, most people are usually mean to me. No yeah, one's give, been mean, give, except for that old man. <laughs> but that's just an old man. <laughs> give, give me an insight check. Hmm. And I probably won't want to make wild magic happen because I don't want to blow up this place. <laughs> so we're just going to do this straight. Boy, howdy, that would be great. Well, suddenly a fireball. <laughs> Everything's on fire downstairs. Oh, suddenly everybody uh, falls dead as you've absorbed all their health. Uh, insight, insight, insight. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot I haven't proficient in insight. Plus six. Uh, 18. 18. Pretty good. E. As I'm just like, hmm. Like, you hungry? No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank there's, you. There's, there, there's this camaraderie. There's this open-handed friendliness that each of the patrons who are walking in and out of the bar just seem to share amongst one another. That sort of top of the evening hey great to see you just all good vibes all around 
But it's everybody. But it's no everybody. Be... All the time. But no one's mad at each other. There's hmm. there's no one who's set come in here said they had a bad day and has been brought up a sad drink that you would expect yeah. to see at any literally any other typical bar or inn. Yeah, I mean the statistics is extremely low. Not every day can be a good day. Hmm. And the more you do this, the more it seems like eyes are being drawn to you. As I'm just like I'm I'm just staring back at him like I see you bitch. I see you. <laughs> like trap a bitch. Like maybe he's just playing up, oh I'm just weird. This is what I do. Like, but it's just like I'm wondering. Are you doing all right, sir? As... Oh Wait. yes, I. Oh yes, I'm fine. Just stretching my legs. You've been I standing not... here for hours straight. Oh, I do do that often. If you like, I can leave. I don't want to be rude. You and your friends paid for your rooms. Oh, I don't really sleep much. I'm more of a night owl, as they say. Well, I must insist that this hall is an open space. If you and to stay here for the night, you need to be in the room. You don't mind if I stand outside, then, do you? That is what you wish wouldn't stop you. Oh. No, don't worry. It's just where I'm from. Sometimes I like to stand outside while I sleep. In but it's very interesting to see different cultures coming from here. Oh, yes. Because as we all know, this is the most lovely place to be. We do say it's that, just... don't we? Mm. <laughs> oh, God. As Joust just like the eyes now. Yes. Everyone does. I hope you have a good night. Like, like the top part of his half face and one of the legs are walking the other way. Like, I'll see you later then. <laughs> like, side walks outside and he's just going to kind of go around the side and just like, at least to keep an eye on things. Because I'm like, maybe some shit happens in the night. Like, like I can't take any more dragon to be reformed. <laughs> like, take care. That have, have a good evening. You too, miss. As I'm just like, just like snap the finger guns and just leave but yeah like kind of out of the little out of the fairway but nearby the uh, inn I'll stand motionless and get rest like just to keep an eye out I don't like the looks of it I got a bad feeling about this gang sounds like everybody found their rest that's for the night <laughs> mm Everybody get your long rest. Yay! Yay! I know what we need. We need those glasses that let you see the crazy stuff from that movie, whatever it's called. <laughs> I, I can't remember that movie stuff. It's such a good one. I don't remember. They live. They, they live. They that's live. it. Yeah. Then Tor can say he's going to chew ass and throw chromatic orbs and he's all out of ass, you know, or something like that. Oh, okay. Tor is never out of ass. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> but I'm never. Can, out can of I? Ass. Can I? Can I throw a little bit of flavor though? What's, a little what's up? Bit. What's up? Uh, uh. Tor and Pain ended up sharing a bed, maybe. Oh. Like nothing happened. Spooning. It's obviously. like it's 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 more so like Tor is laying down and Pain's just sitting like at the foot of the bed, just resting. I can see it. Tor, Tor doesn't Tor doesn't need to lay down though. <laughs> He's just oddly, you know, meditating. I mean, either way. Yeah. No, he'd, he'd he'd probably just be at like at the foot of the get foot of the bed, back against the wall, just in his little meditative sit. Okay, so then Pain would be lying down, just asleep, quote unquote. Yeah, Toronto's got a giant bed to herself. Yeah. Unless we just want a giant cuddle pile. No. <laughs> One big bed. Drana deserves bed. a bed to herself. D Drana deserves a bed to herself. Big comfy bed. Making my way downtown. And you all 
settle in for the a good night's rest in the soft feathery bed awaken to a bright new dawn ghost yes as you are pulled out of your dormant sentry like state um, see what you appears to mail. be about a half dozen vine guards are making their way to box nook so i'm just like I will go to intercept them. So it's like, oh, good morning, sirs. Uh, hey, how are you? Uh, what business do you have uh, this morning? Ah, good morning. Um, we are here to, um, I am, I apologize. Um, you are with, and he goes to check some notes of his in like this sort of parchment clipboard. You are of the Sanguine Band, no? I, uh -oh. I believe our reputation was preceded, but may I ask what the inquiry is? Ah, we yes. don't need to cause a scene, of course. After all, this is a peaceful area. Of course. Uh, the great lady, Queen Elias, would like to have an audience with the Sanguine Band. Such an honor. I'd be happy to give the news to my companions. After all, you have important business to do. Yes, it would be uh, our duty to escort you to her, so that uh, no harm may become of thee. Of course, if you would like to wait outside, enjoy a break, I will make sure my companions are re into their finest wares. Make me a persuasion roll. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I mean, everyone, you guys just need a little bit of a break. Take a smoke break, guys. I'll go. I'll make sure nothing bad happens. Don't worry about it. Uh, how about a 25? <laughs> Beautiful. Mm, I'm just like, oh, it's an honest uh, question. You know, th th don't worry, guys. I got it. Just stay right here. I'll go get them. <laughs> Very well. Um, we'll await for your arrival. Uh, it, but a mere moment of your time, good sirs. But uh, yes, enjoy such a the, the lovely day that Queen Elias has brought us. Mm, yes. <laughs> And I'll go inside and literally just like, I'll probably know Tora's awake first. Just like kind of be like, Tora, Tora, Tora. <laughs> like knocking on the door. <laughs> it's literally three. It's sh the Sheldon knock, Tora. Knock, 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 Tora. Knock, 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 Tora. Knock, knock, knock. Like, yeah, yes, yes. I've been up for a while. I'll open the door. Uh, you see, he just quickly grabs it. Tora, Tora, there is at least like nine or ten leaf guard. They want us to go see Queen Elias. I, I panicked, but I have, I got us a few moments. What do we do? What do we do? Were it's, they in a group? It, or were they in it, a group? Or it looked like they were trying to surround the place. They, I assumed, with how many there were, they could easily block the entrance. But it says they are to escort us for a meeting with the queen. It seems they know us by name as the Sanguine Band. Can I look out the window and see any? See if there's any? If I can see any of them from the ground. Sure. Um, from the second floor, you see down, and yeah. there's about. A half a dozen of them waiting in like a small group circle. Yeah, I mean, it's a good play. You should go see it. Yeah. <laughs> it's enough yeah. to surround us. Yes, there's they 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 seem not hostile, but they, they seem eager to do their job. And I was just I told them we'd all be in our finest wares. So should I wake the rest of them? Yeah, everyone needs to be on word for this. I'll go get a laugh. You go wake up uh, Pain and them. As I like go to the next room, a laughy, a laughy, a laughy, a laughy, a laughy. What's up, Jeff? Ah, uh, good morning, Alafi. I hope you slept well. We have an audience of Queen Elias. I do not know if your wife is allowed to come, but I suppose uh, she would be. I mean, I'm not really one here. We have just us, known as the Sanguine Band, to meet with Queen Alea. So I guess wash your face, comb your hair, and um, be ready. Hey, Lafayette, open the door. Smiles, content. Kind of waking up, still groggy. The moment you say Queen Alea, immediate change of face. Just like uh, serious Alafi mode. It's like, oh, 
Yes. That was quick. Yes, I know. I've got us a few moments. If not, we would have been dragged out of here with about six uh, leaf guard. So I didn't want to cause a scene. I have them waiting outside. So for a moment, prepare what you can. At least give your wishes to the to your wife. Good morning. So, 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 so I kind of lean back. Good, up. good morning, Sir Cotter. Sir Cotter. Sir Cotter. Grab all your things. Yes. Uh, we're going to give you something to hold on to for a moment. Me? More than likely. Here. Uh, Ilaf is going to immediately move to the other room. Drana. Drana. Yes? Where's your shield? Uh, I uh, grab it. It's laying on the, my armor, like laying against my armor. Give it to Zarkadi. She'll sneak it out of here. Uh, I think it might be better. Wait, you're giving this to me? Just for a moment. We'll definitely need this one back. You can keep the staff of the woodlands. I don't understand. What's going on? I am actually going to keep the shield. Um, Drama, think about it for a second. Magic. She doesn't understand what's going on. Trouble. Can you hand Zarkadi the shield for a moment? Hint, hint, wink, wink. Jaws is picking up what you're putting down. He's like, I see. Hmm. And uh, I, uh, I give her the shield gently. I don't understand. It's a one of a kind shield. And it cannot get into anyone's hands, let alone some guards who have no idea what it's worth. Can we trust you with this? I know it's strange to be asked this out of nowhere, but this is of great importance. It's a family, it's a family heirloom of mine. It would be very important don't to me, know. and I don't want them to steal it. Deception I check. have to insight check my wife to see if she properly doesn't know or if she's in on the whole shindig here. She's been compromised, Alafi. Uh, it's a trap. <laughs> roll, roll me an insight check, Alafi. I swear mm. if you have... Mm. Sorry, Alafi. I'm sorry, Alafi. She's Thank turned. You, Alafi. She's been compromised. I'm sorry. 17? Imagine having your wife compromised. This sucks. Yeah. And I can't use his memory's blessing yet. Hasn't been a week. All of her reactions have seemed pretty mild so far. And that isn't exactly how I pictured her. She seems very chill about you just popping up she's chill about living in a place she was kidnapped to mm -hmm. yeah alafi yes notice as you speak of leaving town just see this slight twinge in her demeanor sort of shift in mood as you suggest to leave this place. Something's off. You remember your wife as the indomitable spirit, this bastion of strength for family and kin. Mm-hmm. And all you've seen a soft side uh oh. She does exist, but only rarely. Alright. She's got nails clipped. We'll take I cast that back. Detect. What's that? Detect. I I cast detect thoughts on her. Hey. Alright, uh save is that? Wisdom. The first stage of it doesn't require a save. Yeah, it's yeah. just surface thoughts, yeah. All this is happening while Tora's waking up pain. Yeah, well, it means like, uh, <laughs> by the 
by the way, I'll go down and just at least shoot the breeze with the guard, see if I can, you know, like, oh, they're getting ready, just so I'm not cause a scene, just so they're not going to kick in the door or anything. Uh, Ruby, I am going to DM you her immediately. Oh. Oh. <laughs> secret, secret. Oh. Bias time, Joust, bias time. I'm like, I'm like, okay, I got this. Hey, so how about that sports game? <laughs> kind of like Did there. you catch that ball on the weekend? Ah, uh, yes. Have you tried a stick on a hoop? I've heard it goes even faster these days. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, I've got bring that reference up again. That's yeah. <gasps> but yeah, I'll, I'll just be like, let us get through the door. Oh, I'm bleeding against the door frame. There you go. <laughs> I'm plunging deeper. All right, oh, so I need God. to make a wisdom save. Yes, yes for us. And she'll know if you pass it. You need right. all the luck in the world. She's a high level luck. Uh, well, she is subdued a bit at the moment, so we can pray. What's the number 17. I'm looking for? 17? Fortunately, that fails. Wait. And what? then she knows you tried to dig into her mind. Wait, did she fail the roll or did I fail? You failed. Oh, she passed, is what you said. She knows yeah. I tried to dig. I am immediately taking the shield back. She is like, like her her eyes like tighten and squint, and as the shield was like resting in her hand, you immediately just whisk it back away snatch. from her. Ah. Alafi, run. <laughs> what is it? Nope. You. We need to leave now. Hand on Zarkadi's shoulder. I'm going to save you. Don't worry. If this doesn't make any sense right now, it's because something has muddled your mind. I'm not sure what's happening here. We're going to figure this out. Trust the sacred band. We're very clever. He just nods. Okay. You as well. All right. Let's go talk to those guards. Yeah, I'm out there. Yeah, I'm up. I'm up. What the fuck is going <laughs> on? Going on? <laughs> yeah, you know what I warned you about last night happening. Uh, let's, let's go. Fuck. <sighs> Thing grabs the shit and just gets dragged out of the bed. Ugh. Yeah, he's probably gonna be the lo the most unkempt of the entire audience. Hey, what the fuck are you looking at, lady? <laughs> just like, eh, oh. I can imagine, like, on the way, Tora's, like, trying to fix his hair. <laughs> oh, abs absolutely. Oh, yeah, it's like a... Old, not not gonna let you embarrass us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joust is just shooting the shit with the guards out there, like, oh, I mean, they're just, you know, washing their faces and everything. <laughs> so while you're busy getting pain the last bit up... Ilafi's face is getting continually more and more, like, annoyed. It's always the gods messing with us. What's the plan? See what Are we actually going to go see and talk to her? It's the best thing that we really can We're, do. We're not exactly in a position to argue we, or anything. If, or fight. If we, yeah, if we resist this, odds are we're going to have to crawl through every citizen in the town to get out. And we'd rather not have to do that. So, best case scenario, she it's... just wants to check up on us and see what the whole reputation's about. Zarkadi, how much fight do you have in you, do you think? I know it's a weird question to ask. Fight? So that'd be none. Yeah. I don't know if she's become just. Anyway, um... Don't know how to bruise somebody. Hey. No. Uh, okay. Good. Fuck. <laughs> it's gonna be alright. We just need to... We've been through this before. We can do this again. You're all heading outside? I 
Yep. Yes, we have to talk to her. We, uh, we, yeah, we, I, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go outside and follow the guards. All right, here they are. I told you. I'm sorry they took so long. I know your time is valuable, gentlemen. Ah, not at all. I'm sure it'll be a great pleasure for her to become acquainted with you all. Of course, by, uh, by your leave. Did Zarkadi immediately follow us down? Sorry, I was only informed of one furbog in the Sanguine Band. She did. Uh, as I look over real quick to Lafi, I'm just like, mm -hmm. She's just someone I used to know. No problem. You can okay. head home, Zarkadi. You won't be needed for this. Thank yes. you. Uh, by, you were correct. It is just my friend, Alafi. He just gives you a kiss on the cheek before heading off again, down the road. You know, catching up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> staff is magic, <clears throat> by the way. We can use it to make friends with animals more easily. That was always more your thing. It's very true, yeah. Oh. Out of the way, please. Right this way. Of course. I don't see Jazz like walking along. What's the plan? Just go with the flow on this one. Hold on to Zerk. Go with the. Uh huh. Can't believe you done this. Can't believe you done this. I can't believe you done this. <laughs> it's all been compromised. It's all a snafu. Um. In fact, it might actually come down to a fight between the two. It's oh, be. no. I really it hope feels not. A bit early to be god killing. I don't think we're going to be killing no gods today here, pal. What's this? You're escorted up this winding road that climbs up the hill. Ooh. Ooh. Now that's a chair. That is a Feywild court throne. Holy shit. Whoa. Oh, God. Ah. And it's getting I, bigger. A little too big for my britches. Oh, my, I, I tried photoshopping it to fit this table, but for some, for the life of me, it didn't work. That's okay. Hey. Work with what we got. We make it work. Mm -hmm. On the way, if I may. Yes. Trying to whisper as best we can to the party. How do we hide drone of shield? Feels uh, like if a god's gonna know, right? I can make it invisible. No, no you can't. You can't. Oh, the god you're already right. knows this god. She I'm knows. Not sure about. Well, either way, I mean, I do have some cavities you can shove it inside me if need be. Uh, would it even be big enough to fit? You know, I don't think, you, I know, I don't think really you're stretchy, Joe. I don't think it's going to work that way. No. Mm -hmm. Look. I mean... Mm. No, I am not shoving my shield anywhere what? near you. All right. Because I, I mean... don't know what the anti-magic field can do to your insides. Oh, we could. I don't. I'm not too worried about that. No, no, I'm that's a fair that. point. That's a fair point. <laughs> Conk. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean, right now, let's just keep an open mind and be, you know. Just, uh, by the way, Joust is just pointing fingers as he's just sending this message along for everybody, so they're not hearing them. Because he can make that little message going on there if need be. Uh, but yes, we keep a we keep a low pro as best of our profile as we can. Not that you did any help with that, Alafi, yesterday, by the way. Um, <laughs> and we just deal with what we can. But right now, let's see. We just passive. We're not a threat, not yet, at least. Let's hold off on the yet part. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a fan of her. <laughs> Stop. So well, now. I guess this is a punishment for full chaos, eh, Tora? He was fun while it lasted. Oh, it definitely was. I wish I could see it. Ooh, I hope I don't get hungry while this is happening. So. Think about it. You are brought to this. 
sand whitewashed castle. Ooh. I think, you know, Princess in the Tower storybook vibes, just everything is bright and shining. Horses in the stable for knights on cavalry. So it's musical castle. Yeah, music performers, jesters. Are brought into large opening, these double doors. Almost trees within themselves by their stature and already wide open. It's the throne room. Golden statues. Fine guard. Fine down this hallway. All with different attributes to them. Especially notice the difference between certain styles and fashion. Spring, summer, fall, winter, port, aladrons. They all sort of stand in this uniform lot. All these elaborate vine wood carvings and etchings line the roofs, walls, like a foundation to this place, all coalescing together into this center throne of thorns. At the center, this budding rose. Large, magnificent stature stands up as you talk about a tall woman. <laughs> you have all never witnessed. Presence, one of the living gods, Eos. Standing before you is this green turquoise skin underneath the gilded and elaborate decorative pieces of art behind her shoulders and crown above her head that goes to this long waft that's Holds down behind. Black sclera, yet pale blue eyes shine down up seas. Presenting to the God Queen Elias the Sanguine Band. Welcome, dear guest. Please. She waves her forward in this hither motion. Actually, I'll probably end up going last. Shilaf is just gonna casually like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, guess, I guess Joust will try to take point because he's the most charismatic. I guess. And maybe your weird feyness, yeah, but also not fey might throw her off her game. I guess. I thought, uh, <laughs> you you got to fight fair with fair, okay? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I think. <laughs> gotta throw some chaos into the mix. <laughs> Not like our party's known for that or anything. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Is anyone else nervous? Maybe not. Maybe not too close. There you go. Hmm. 
You may kneel, should you choose. I am hiding behind a, behind pain. <laughs> you see, you see, Jazz shrugs and he's like, "All right." Ratchets down his like leg and takes a knee. Like <laughs> every part of me doesn't want to. But, but, I, but, I have but, to. There's no choice here. You no. got. It. We're not We're, ready. You gotta save face, Alafi. Sometimes you gotta lick a boot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tor, Tor, Tor is gonna take a knee. He is. Ruby Walls to take. Maybe a, knee. a little, a little awkward to do so. Just doesn't yeah, see what the big to. deal is. Yeah. Hmm. But he's he's not gonna bow his head. He's gonna be looking straight at her. A lot of fans are doing the same. Just, just a knee. Less bow in the head. I kneel, just like she asked. Yep. I kneel, head down. You have come a long way. The beginning of your journey. You have ventured forth and proclaimed yourselves as champions of your realm. <clears throat> you have done very well for yourselves. You're stepping. Their case. I am pleased to see you all well. Be able to see you for the first time. Your attention brought to joust. You humble me, uh, a queen. Curious to see if you would make your way here. I suppose, yo, yes. Poor little thing. Just looking like, hmm. My, how much you've grown. I'm sorry, but I am confused. I do not understand. What do you mean? Forgive my ignorance, of course. Apologies. It's just that... I'm so happy to see my child growing, flourishing. Jess looks left and right. I, I, I mean, I don't understand. I did not meet your child. I'm, I hope they're good. No, my dear sweet Joust. You are my son. Oh. 
Okay. It's Faye, but not. Fuck. As Joust thinks about it, he's like... <laughs> he's like that weird, like, you have a question, but he's thinking about it. It's starting to actually make a little bit more sense now. Oh, I hate it. Oh. Hello, Mama. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm sorry, that sounds weird. Uh, I, I don't know why. <laughs> Thank you all so much for bringing him to me. I hope you can understand that we're just as confused as he is. This is absolutely news to us. And he... Ah, please, then, allow me to explain. Two years ago, falling fire in there, acolytes there, scholars and engineers, began construction on the first of his kind. The hardware was all there. It's missing its part. Source of power that could keep them going. I volunteered a piece of myself that the war forged may give birth. You, just, are its first success. Ah, um, I think I understand. Been gifted with the power of nature. My nature. With it, you assumed your own will. And you have begun to live a life. Mm. Much joy. See you flourishing so well. Well... I have very good friends to help me thank for that. Of course. Yours was no small doing either. Which is why I'm hoping to ask for your help. I always do like to be helpful. Begins to stand. Turn around. Alafa feels like he can breathe for the first time since she stepped out. As Jess like kind of turns, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> I sense that you are well aware of. How this city is. So well kept. New hiding stuff from gods would be impossible. Well, yes, we did seem to notice. You wish to see them free. I believe they should have that choice. You have seen what joy they have felt. Seen the peace amongst them. No violence, no war, no pain. But there is no change. There is no growth. Only stagnation. Which is why they have come to me. I have been bringing people from across the world 
forcibly. Become a part of this greater plan. And what is this greater plan? Ascension, my dear Joust. Oh. That sounds important. An ultimate removal. Those who would cause harm to us. Perfect freedom. But, now that I see you here, I am willing to give all of that up. I would let them oh. go. What? All of the people? Every. Under what condition? Sanguine ban never working with altruism. The betterment of others. There's always a catch. B must be paid. Well, we'd like to le at least know the details of what it is we're working with. It's a smarter way of doing things. Less people get hurt that way. Sacrifice of one for the many. Do you want joust? There is one person by the name of Sediel Varelius. I would have you bring her to me so that she, and she puts her hand out in one index finger, so that she and Joust were to wed. Huh? Wow, first day um, of meeting my mom and already getting married. That's <laughs> like just something. <laughs> Well, I mean, I think I would have to court her first. A peace between the Fey Wild and the world of Eos. The natural born freedom the Fey provides. The ultimate freedom of this new life. Symbol of a great unity between people. Can I tell how honest a god is being? You cannot. Yeah, it's like looking into the sun. <laughs> Joust is just like, I don't see what the big deal is. It's just a big glowy lady. Hmm. Who, you... who is this woman? Uh, she is nobility right. that expected to be here. Fortunately, she had escaped. 
Is that why you were picking people? Were you trying to match me up with a with a spouse? Oh shit! Do you? Re oh my god! I mean, I'm sorry. This is very hard to understand. You want me to marry a person because you granted me life. A missing person. A missing person. Yes. Thank I you, Captain. I wish for you to marry as a symbol of peace. I see. And in return, we will have no need for all of those folks that have come here. They'll be free to live their lives once more. And what of the troubles of the Feywild? They will be lifted. Putting a lot on a guy, aren't you? <laughs> Hmm. Sheriff, sure, this is a big decision. It's I mean, quite literally one of the biggest decisions you could make in your life. Well, I mean, it's been a hectic morning. I woke up, I, I got, I met my mom apparently, and now I have to find a woman to marry. I don't it, really know it, what it's, that's. It's a lot to take in. Yes, I, I agree. I agree. Do you think that maybe you might need some time to think about it? Yes. Uh, 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 your Highness, um, I would we would need to confer and see what our next course of action before any decision would be made. I'm afraid. And there's... even then, oh, go ahead. Okay, yeah, interrupt God. This is fine. Uh, yeah. And even then, we'd still have to find this woman to bring her back here. That alone could pose. A long time searching, no? Well, as it so happens, there is someone who can assist you with that. You see her wring her hand, binds, see outgrowing this circle that eventually creates a fey portal. Uh, Tora. Hmm see this familiar autumn colored nobles attire it's long swept hair braided to the back honorary sword blade he's gripping tightly at his side Uh huh. My goodness, why is everyone here so handsome? <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's, it's the Feywild, everyone's pretty. Everyone's pretty. And I'm a everyone's fucking robot in a pretty. wig. <laughs> I'm a schlub. Oh, why is everything getting so complicated? <laughs> Jazz is just like, boy, I have had a day. <laughs> And who is he? We don't. We know who he is. Emil Varelius, father of those that wish to be wed. Oh, the father-in-law. It were to broker peace with the Fey Wild. I would allow my daughter to marry this. Joust. Hello. <laughs> no way. I have reason to believe I know where she is being kept. Or at least a general area.
Pray tell, where could we find said person? Best. Are you going to assist us? One moment, as I turn to everyone. <laughs> I kind of like... <laughs> See, Joust looks like a like, bold face, and then a moment he turns, it's literally just like a flop sweat, a bit of oil leaking, like... <laughs> like, like a... Like a Idiot, like man, just like untucked shirt and everything. Like, I don't know what to do, guys. <laughs> uh, mentally speak in Torin's head. You think she could hear her thoughts? Yes. <laughs> For what it's, it's worth, if the god is reading our thoughts, the only thing that's been running through Alafi's head is, what does she get out of this? What does she get out of this? And I'm just, yeah, in, in Jazz's head, like, I am I found my mom. This is fucking weird. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow, I did not know my mom was so tall. Will I get that tall? Hmm. <laughs> like, think about, I wonder if I could eat a boiled egg now. Like, kind of weird <laughs> kind of thoughts. <laughs> huh. Hmm. God. What the fuck, God? Dun, 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 dun. Welcome, welcome to your penultimate choice. Oh boy! So we just need to be stop married. her. Quick, quick huddle to multiple people. One, I give up said freedom and marry a random person that we would probably have to collect. You don't marry a random person. You marry Tora's goddamn sister. Am I reading this right? No, 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 no. Oh, thank God! I read not, the rumor. No. no, that that that's just a dude. That's just a sna snappy looking dude. Are you just saying because he has the same color hair as Tora, he's the not, lady? A, no, 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 no. That's no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah will, of course. Tora, Tora not related will, at all. Or we'll tell you later. Yeah, no. I'm just like, all right, and um, I mean, I, I have no idea. And Tor just has no clue. He's just met I, I really don't like this. And I feel like we don't even have a choice in the matter. I mean, there's, it's... There's a rule with dealing with the Fae. We don't make deals. Right? You don't need to make deals. I, need I to recall make deals. that's that's something that Tor says is only bullshit for the tourists. I think at she's least also, our best... She's also technically not Fey. Yes. Also, I just think our best bet would be at least to save this person. They seem to be in danger. I would not risk that someone be in danger at my expense. And then doing so, we can decide later if I am to be wed. It doesn't feel like you even have a choice in this matter. I mean... Well, why didn't you she... ask her? There and we know you're listening, we're just whispering to be polite. Yes, my apologies, Pear Queen. <laughs> she Joust... might respect our whispers, to be fair. As Joust thinks about it, he's like... It is a heavy decision that on your shoulders. I am very much aware of that. But it is ultimately choice. After all, that is what I gave you. Just has that moment where he tugs he's like, that is why I can make a choice, I suppose. Do I deny the person that granted me a spark of thought of life and say no? Perhaps they can tell me more about myself. They seem to know more about me than I do. Or at least tell me what the heck's going on with my crazy, funky, funky heart. But I think, I think that, I think the choice is clear. I just want to make sure it's okay with all of you that I, I, I think you know what I'm going to say. I mean, if you know what you're going to say regardless, then I don't think our opinions are really needed at this point. Either way, 
We're... You are the you are the four people that have taught me how to be alive. Besides her, give me the choice. I've learned courage and strength from Alafi. I've learned cunning and ingenuity from Tora. I've learned patience and and understanding between from pain and Yana. I've learned what love and family truly means. I have learned a lot from all of you just by these short few months. You're a good person, Joust. I'm sure whatever decision you make, you'll make good of it. You know, you are the only people that have actually referred to me as a person. And I enjoy I am very grateful of that. And I think it I we should do the right thing for your family and for everyone. It should be best that this choice be made. If so, Perhaps things might be different. Maybe I'm just the change we need. Hold on, Jess. Okay. <laughs> that turns back around. Yes. So, oh. don't forget promises you've already made. Of course. Tell I did me. not forget. Kill me, souls. All right. Now I might have to flip a coin on this. Queen Elias. The the choice is now clear. I will aid you. Very good. And I will put you to the task immediately. Bring back Varelius' daughter, and you shall be wed. I will release my hold on everyone in Elias in return for this union. Now, she raises her hand up and sort of like backhanded wave go that is where we're gonna end the session oh <laughs> she boy she has that one moment of like <laughs> what have I done <laughs> oh boy Ooh. I didn't think you were going to say yes Ooh, I boy, had a feeling you would, honestly. I can, hey, uh, you, you, you still have to say I do, boys. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I, yeah. I do. Just might have made the right decision in the end, because who's to say that after we do what we need to do for her, we can't solve the other people's problems after we get closer. This gives us true. time! <laughs> well, that too. Gives us something to do other than fucking around in the lays. Well, in the meantime... You and your party are oh going to awaken God. somewhere you might not have expected. Oh, but we'll see wow. that next time. Oh man, this seems like a good scheduled conflict next week. In the, <laughs> me in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching. This was a bit of a longer one, but I, I just had to get this done. Oh. This had to be done during this session. So talk about a lord. It was good. Everyone. It was well worth it. Thank you. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope to see you all next week for some more scheduled conflicts. Take care, everybody. Bye bye. 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 I can't believe you still stole my wife. <laughs> <laughs>